Hi, Vot Channel. How are you guys doing? It is Conrad Steve is Paranormal PI time. Holy heck. I can't say the S word because we're just at the start of the video. Uh, they just did probably the biggest update I have ever seen for an indie go ghost hunting game ever. They added six new paranormal tools that you can use to find the ghosts in this game which is crazy because remember if there's one thing that conrad sevis was lacking it was the diversity in equipment because really the only stuff that you had was an emf a thermo an evp which you could use to record audio and and talk to the ghost sometimes and then a thermo those were the only four tools and now we got six additional tools added to this game i think there's a paramic there's a new ghost box there's another new audio equipment there is a an emf sensor that you can place on the ground there's like a, a laser pen that's like a dots projector and then there's like an automatic camera that you can place on the ground there is so much stuff i haven't played with them at all uh we're gonna be playing with them today it's crazy i love this game and then also after we are done with conrad stevenson's uh there is another game another ghost in the game that got a brand new update uh it's paranormal observation it is the i'm an observation duty slash phasmophobia like game um and they have added exorcisms to that game, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And if we have time over, there's also Nine Child Street, which just released literally yesterday. Depends on how much time we have. But anyway, I'm just going to be diving into Conrad, having a lot of fun, because this is crazy. How does the dev have this much time? I'm actually, like, honestly so impressed. Johnny, thank you for the gift sub. Feasible T, thank you for the 15 months. Looney with the 18, that's a double baby. Nico with the 14. Atelli with the 5. Daft Crunk with the 12. Holy shit, guys. Lori with the nine months, that's a baby. Laspunic with the eight months. Cirilla with the 13. Jeffu with the six. Sky Pirate with the 25. My, my, my Twitch with the prime. Tails with the five. Thank you, guys. And Elwer, El, Elwerin with the sub. And Red Witch again with the five gift subs. All righty, here we go. Let's go say hi, YouTube. We are ready to hop in, baby. Did I, uh, I did post on Twitter, right? Just making sure you have Twitter. Twitter cannot be left behind. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. This game just got an absolutely massive update. It might be the biggest update I've ever seen uh, for a ghost hunting game outside of some of the massive updates for Phasmophobia. They've just added six unique new ghost hunting equipment to this game and if you remember that was the one thing this game was lacking because there were only really four tools that you could use to figure out the ghost and now they have more than doubled that by adding six additional items i don't know how the dev finds the time to do all of this stuff because he keeps adding literally two weeks ago we had a new map uh with like two new ghosts as well it's crazy i genuinely have no idea there must be a lot of all-nighters by in the development of this game because it's just one person and i also know that they have made all the models for these items themselves so it's it's just wild i honestly can't can't believe how much they do uh but i'm super excited to hop in see what all these new items are about we're just going to be exploring the the new stuff and i'm super excited and i hope you enjoyed us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go here we go baby all righty so you can see at the bottom oh also they changed that world news today excuse me uh, economy back alley card church collectible cards markets drowning in a wave of insider trading some brokers believe that online gaming is the culprit other officials uh, i don't know what that is uh but as you can see we have a belt at the bottom i think yeah you can turn off and on that belt but we got the items back here as far as i know look at this so what do we got we got an emf oh here we go emf pod the toggle the emf pod on and off the on light wait okay let's this is a lot of stuff there's six new items so we have to figure out what the hell they do uh toggle the emf pod on and off the on light white will turn on when the device is active various lights and alarms will activate based on the strength of the ele ele electromagnetic field the device has encountered a maximum of two lights can be active at a time the on light white and one one of the activity lights. The strength of the EMF will determine what activity light is on. The color of the activity lights from weakest to strongest are green, yellow, blue, and red. So it's a REM pod or something, because I've seen this in like on like ghost hunting websites. Um, the, EMF, uh, the EMF pod can be turned on and placed on the ground. While on the ground, if the EMF pod begins to light up and sound alarms, an investigator should use their EMF meter to further investigate. Okay. Cool. The EMF pod will not produce evidence on its own. When the red level audio visual indicator is active, use a handheld EMF to evaluate the anomaly. If the anomaly is found to be paranormal, 
your notes will be updated appropriately. Okay, so that's the first tool. And the other tool, what do we got? What is this thing? Uh, toggle the laser pen on and off. When the laser pen is turned on, oh, what the hell? Turned on the tri- wait, turned on. The tripod will be automatically assembled to the laser pen. Mounted on a miniature tripod, which enables steady placement on many surfaces, the laser grid displays an array of green dots over a limited coverage distance. Can I place this already? Can I try it out? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. We got a laser pen. That's sick. Wait, can I place them too? How do I place them? It, it puts a tripod down. Oh, they, wait. It said it said I had to... It, it like, puts a tripod. Wait, how do I place them? <laughs> Did it, was there something on the screen? I don't remember. I'm trying to figure out on a table. I'm, I don't know which button you have to press to place it down. I'm stupid. It's just because I don't know what adding the tripod does because I'm still holding it. Anyway, uh, V. Oh. No. Yes. Yes. You're right. V. Okay. Wait. So how do I? Uh, maybe I can't place it in here. I might not be able to place it here. I think we're going to have... It is with V. But I think we might have to place that. Oh, no. I placed it down. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Give me that back. Thank you. Anyway, let's let's look around. What more do we got? We have this thing. What is this? Please. I'm trying to pick it up. Very precise. Hello. I would like to pick it up. Thank you. By harness- okay, this is the Paravox? What is that? By harnessing the energy produced from the surrounding environment, the Paravox allows ghosts to- uh, allows ghosts access to its database of words. The device can produce a word chosen by the ghost. Ghosts can communicate at random times or during contact sessions. Since this device uses energy to operate, it is likely that some of the words are produced by non-paranormal circumstances. To validate the paranormal activity, contact sessions are necessary. Investigators may choose to perform an and perform a contact session. In these sessions, they can ask the spirit specific questions while the pair of box is on. After asking a ghost, they will pause moment momentarily, giving any potential ghost time to answer. If multiple direct answers are given to various specific questions, it is safe to conclude the responses are paranormal evidence. Okay. Interesting. So I... Uh, oh, okay. There's, it's a better... How many people are here? It's like a better spirit box? I'm a little confused. I'm guessing it's a better spirit box. It's not saying anything because my place is probably not haunted. I hope not, at least. Okay, so it's probably just like a, an upgraded version of the original. Uh, What is this? Wait, those are items I already know. What is this? Para box. Okay. Uh, oh, is this, is this like an upgrade? It's three of para box? Like the para box and the para box are just upgrades? I'm not sure. Similar to vintage handheld televisions. Oh, never mind. It's compact and easy to use. It utilizes TV tuner frequencies to sweep the airwaves, generating white noise. Intelligent entities could possibly use this energy to communicate with the world of the living. Since a visual monitor is available, some investigators claim to witness ghostly images as they try to communicate with the entities. Since this device is essentially a modified handheld television, it is likely that some of the sounds and images captured are just normal incoming signals. To validate paranormal activity, contact sessions are necessary. Okay. Investigators may choose to perform a contact session. Perform a contact session. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to say. In these sessions, they can ask the spirit specific questions. Okay. So the pair box is scanning. While the pair box is scanning channels, after asking questions, they will pause momentarily, giving any potential ghost time to answer. If multiple direct answers are given to various specific questions, it's safe to conclude the responses are paranormal evidence. Okay. So this is kind of a different type of spirit box. Oh, yeah. It has like. What the hell? Oh, that's sick. Is it going to show us like a little. Jump scare on the thing. <laughs> what? I hear sounds sometimes. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> it's my place haunted. Did you hear that scream? Can I pick this one up? I think I'm full of stuff. I think I'm going to drop the, the pair of box right now. And we're going to pick this up. Uh, para mic. Here we go. This custom audio mon monitoring device features a pair of parabolic sound dish microphone. And a viewfinding monocular. Through high fidelity headphones, the investigator can hear a range of sounds at extended distances. Unlike the industry standard, standard, we do not leave sound devices on all night. Our investigators will turn on the parabolic mic on 
wait, go turn the parabolic mic on for five second intervals, okay? You can record audio from a distance, so it's like an upgraded audio recorder. Uh, some ghostly sounds, such as distant bells or chimes, may not be captured with the recorder, but are obviously signs of paranormal activity. This equipment is designed to amplify distant sounds and not suited for electronic, electronic voice phenomena sessions. Okay, I see. So we got uh, a completely unique new thing that has like... Uh, I don't know. I guess this is just going to be dots. We have like an EMF uh, strength. Like this will detect EMF for you in places. So you can place this like at a doorway and then you can go somewhere else and then you can leave it there. Uh, how do you turn it on? Did I turn it on? I have to turn it on manually. There you go. Turn it on and then you place it. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so confused. I, uh, I think that might just be the electronics here. Well, I think we're just gonna hop in and figure it out as we go. I think that's the plan. So let's quickly set up some notes. Well, what's going on here? Plastic surgery? What was that? Plastic industry? There's a news, news channel now. What the fuck? That's new. Um, also, I heard we need to look around. Is there something here? Hello? Can I flush my toilet? I cannot flush my toilet. Not looking there. I thought there was something in the lobby that people were talking about, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. Um, <clears throat> we'll see that. Let's go. Okay, what do we want to? Where do we want to go? I think we want to go to. Let's really check the map. We want to go to. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off for now. You want to go to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Investigation. Shut this. Jefferson Street. No, we already went to Pork Street. Oak Street might be the best place to go. Are these three ghosts? Because we haven't even taken a photo of this one, apparently. Are there- there are only three ghosts here, right? Here, there's a lot more ghosts. We already- we didn't investigate the- oh, I think we investigated every ghost here. I think we're gonna go to- because there's no new map. I mean, obviously, we could go to this one. This one will be very effective to go to like the church, but I think we're going to do that after we do like a small investigation because I think I think I need to get used to the equipment first before we start heading into a big one. Okay, so we're going to try and get some notes for Polk Street. Let's check out some uh, some archive stuff for Polk Street. Uh, what do we got? So I want to go to Polk Street. Oh, this one. I remember the police report. Was this one again? I, I quickly need to read because I, I forgot what this was all about. On April 23rd at 5.50 p.m., dispatch received a call from a resident on Polk Street stating that they heard loud, angry screaming from the house next door and loud bangs shortly after. The caller stated that they wanted to remain anonymous. I arrived at the scene at around 6.02 p.m. and a woman answered the door. She identified herself as Deborah Ellen and remained calm and respectful while we discussed. I asked if anyone else was home and she replied that her stepson was in the, his room I asked if I could talk to him, and she answered yes. The boy identified himself as David Allen and said he was 10 years old. He appeared to have been crying and had fresh scratches on both sides of his neck. But when I inquired about my observation, he said his allergies were bothering him, and he had no idea how he got those scratches. I did not press him further. I asked Deborah about my observations of David, and she replied, You know how boys are. They're always roughhousing about something. She denied having to do with his ears or scratches. Okay, she's evil. Uh, what does that say? Strong emotions create gateways. Uh, what's this? Certificate of marriage. Deb joined the family. I, I'm completely out of the loop for this, this house. Like, I completely forgot about what this, this was all about. Changes create gateways. So many things create gateways. What is this? New Eidolon Mental Health Center. Uh, we have... Who is this? It's Deborah Ellen. Okay, so Deborah Ellen is, is probably... There's something wrong with her. She's making th threats. She's active. She has active recurring thoughts about making threats. And super denies current thoughts of other directed harm at this time. Uh, she has aggressive thoughts. And she has danger to herself and to others. And she has fear. We have a fear of losing control. Interesting. Concerned enough for evaluation. What is this? Helen was loved. Who's Helen? Okay, wait, so we have Alan, who is- oh, Helen Wagner was living there first, so they bought the house in 1953, um, and then sold it to the Allen family, uh, which is the second family. So the first family is Helen Wagner, New Eidolon, Helen Wagner, 
Uh, and then this is also going to be... No, this is Charles Allen and Deborah Tyler. Okay, so Deborah married Charles. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what, what's going on in this house. Um, wait, we, we should read the email. We should read the email. That's going to help. Uh, Polk Street, Polk Street, Polk Street. Here we go. Conrad, I moved my family into our new house six months ago. Since then, they claim to have experienced strange things that they cannot explain. Seems like they are growing in the belief that our home is haunted. I personally have never experienced anything that makes me believe in ghosts, but my wife and kids have a laundry list of things they feel are paranormal. My wife says she has heard sounds of crying in the living room, someone talking to themselves in the laundry area, and footsteps throughout the house. She also claims to have seen a person's shadow creeping along in the hallway. My youngest child's bedroom is adjacent to the bathroom. Recently, he's woken up several times in the middle of the night saying that a boy is in his room, scaring him. He has also mentioned that he has seen an elderly man lingering in the kitchen. Personally, I don't believe this is being caused by spirits. When something falls off the shelf in my garage or I feel a sudden change in temperature, I chalk things up to a more rational explanation. Regardless, I would like to resolve this issue for my family. I know it will mean a lot to them. Let me know if you are available to check out our home. Okay. Uh, so there's lots of activity. Oh, also a poltergeist. Yeah, 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 here we go. Uh, so they have seen footsteps throughout the house. They've heard crying in the living room. I'm going to replace some notes. Can I just do this? No, I can't do this. I have to take some, take some notes out. Okay, which one do we want to investigate? I want to investigate the boy and the crying shadow, I think. Because those are going to... Those are both intelligent, I think. So they will also allow us to use our new audio equipment tools. I think that's going to be very important. Let me just reset the notes. Clear the list. Um, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. This is where you can buy the items, by the way. Uh, the laser pen. You have to go in here. Which Look at the prices of these things. It's crazy. Uh, look at this thing. It's 2,000 credits. Holy shit. That's so, that's so much money. This, I didn't even pick that thing up yet. Wait a minute. I forgot about the thing. Inflation hit hard. I didn't pick this up yet. What is this? This is the auto camera? I need to drop something though, don't I? Uh, I need to drop... Oh, I'll place this on the ground. What is this? Uh, an HD full spectrum camera with night vision. This ensures we are able to capture the most subtle materializations. Investigators are encouraged to take as many photos as needed, but they will only... Wait, I think this is the regular camera. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That's the automatic camera. Uh, this one. Autocam. The autocam is designed to function with a tripod and automatically take photos of manifested entities. The autocam will continue to snap photos of the ghost until the entity has vanished or leaves the view of the autocam. Investigators notes will update after picking up the autocam and reviewing the photos. I'm so glad that they do that. Turn on auto cam and so you get to actually see the photos, but that's so sick. Place auto cam to activate the auto photo feature. The auto cam will only take photos when it's turned on and placed. The green light on the top of the auto cam will illuminate to notify the user a photo was taken. Okay, so I need to pick up the other stuff as well. Oh baby, look at that. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Let's pick this up so we don't get notifications when we're in the game about the tutorial for this because I already already know all this stuff. I'm just placing it all on the ground. <laughs> it's an EMF. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, place it down, please. Thank you. Thermo. I know about the thermo. You don't have to tell me. And then... What is this? Oh, no. We already picked that up. Okay. Anyway. So, we're gonna have all this in the truck. Uh, you only... I mean, you do have five inventory slots. That's pretty nice. Anyway. We need to continue our um, getting of the of the notes. Okay, so we're gonna do crying in the living room, because that's for the shadow. We're gonna do footsteps throughout the entire house, person shadow. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the poltergeist. Elderly man. What is this? Taking, talking in the laundry. Oh yeah, we could do some talking. Then we can do some EVP. Let's do that. Talking in the laundry. And then we'll take two notes from uh, the archive. We'll say police report. Strong emotions create gateways. And then... What is this? Divorce agreement. This is Charles Allen and Lynn Allen. Angels create gateways. Deb joined the family in 1994. I think we're going to go for Deborah a lot. Because I think that's a crying ghost. Pretty sure with this we got lots of notes too. What is this by the way? 
Wagner's look happy. What changed, huh? I think we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with all these notes. Let's just hop in and we'll see we'll see what happens. Because I, I, I just need to use these items for it to make sense. Uh okay, Polk Street, here we go. So uh when I click this button, we're gonna go to Polk Street. When I click this button, it's probably gonna start lagging a little bit, so keep that in mind. Get ready for the lag. I'm also gonna turn up the audio so you can hear better. We're the Lorentz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked <laughs> their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put Dude, their Conrad minds is these. not having your shit. So we're in Polk Street. We haven't been here in a long time, and we also have a lot of stuff. I think it's all... Uh, yeah, it's all here. Hello there. Uh, so what what new tools do we got? Originally, let's go over the original tools. So the EMF, we're used to that one. The thermo, we're used to that one. Totally normal. Then we have the EVP, which we also have used before, uh, as well as the photo cam. So these five, uh, these four tools over here are the usual tools. And then we got a bunch of new stuff, starting with the laser pen. Look at this thing. It is, you can place it on the ground as well. Uh, and it'll, I mean, I guess we're gonna place that in a house somewhere, and we'll see what that does. Um, then we got the EMF pod, which you can place on the ground, works like an EMF, but it's basically on the ground. However, you do have to also use your own EMF when you hear a bunch of noises coming from it. Then we have the camera, which you can place, and it'll automatically take photos of entities, which is really cool. Uh... Then we, and then we have two upgraded versions of the spirit box. This one will show you images of stuff i don't know what it's going to show you because i haven't used it ever uh and the other one is like an upgraded what the fuck was that this one is like an upgraded version of the original evp i think i'm just gonna go in there and then we also have the paramic which i don't know what this uh, what kind of sounds this is gonna pick up but it's probably gonna be very spooky let's just head in there place some of our new tools it's crazy hello there how you doing so bulk street is a I'm playing the piano. I should really turn on my flashlight. There you go. I can't see shit. What the fuck? It immediately worked? Excuse me. I should have recorded some audio. I did not record any audio. <laughs> Let me just place this on the ground real quick. I heard someone crying. I'm going to place this. What? Did I just write something down? What happened? I heard a sound. I'm a little concerned. I'm going to turn this on and place it on the ground here. I'm placing it. Can I rotate this? I don't seem to be able to rotate it. I'm pressing R. I'm pressing T. Scroll wheel. Oh, there. Okay. You press C to rotate. Here we go. Okay, so we got a dots projector in the hallway. Look at that. <laughs> I want to use the TV. The heck? This is crazy. The, the notes we have, by the way, let's go over the notes. Uh, so this house is basically haunted everywhere. I think there's four different ghosts we can find. They're, they've heard crying in the living room. They've heard footsteps throughout the whole house. There's shadows in the hallway. Uh, there was talking in the laundry in the basement. Uh, there were some, like, strong emotions in the past. Some like There was, like, a police report of someone uh, potentially abusing their child, which is uh, not very good. Uh, and then we have someone who we're going to be investigating who are probably haunting this place called Deborah, who became like crazy and got sent to a mental hospital and is potentially haunting this place, but we don't know yet. Anyway, I'm going to leave this stuff on the ground real quick because we have some things to bring into the house. Because now you actually have an inventory and you actually have to bring items, which you didn't use to before. Before you had all the items in your inventory all at once. Now you actually have to go a little back and forth, but not much. There's not that much to pick up. So I definitely want to place the camera. And then obviously we're also going to need the EMF uh, as well as thermo. I think these are not that important because we got the other versions of them, which are probably just straight up better versions. But I'm going to be placing this, which is the EMF pod, which I think is like a REM pod, basically. Uh, I'm going to place that over here. They said something about the bathroom, right? Let's place it in the bathroom. I'm guessing that's going to go crazy at some point. I don't know. This looks pretty peaceful right now. Okay, we're also going to place the... Where do we place this? They, they saw someone, right? They saw a shadow in the hallway. Okay, let's place this in the hallway then. We're going to place this right here. Can I take photos with it? 
I can't seem to take photos with it manually. I have to just like place it down. Okay, so we're gonna place that down. Ooh, whoops, I know I didn't want to place it like that. I want to make it look down the hallway. Dude, this feels like a whole different game right now. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, there we go. Take photos like this. Boom. So if any, if at any point the shadow or something shows up in this hallway, we'll start taking a bunch of pictures of it. Also, it has collision, so I just lock myself in this room. All right, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to place it. Okay, I thought we would be able to walk through it, uh, but no. Oh no 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 no! no. I'm, I'm I'm getting used to these equipment. Please, I didn't want to place it like that. I want to put on the tripod. Here we go. Uh, boom, and then rotate it, and we're gonna place it close to the wall so we can hopefully walk past it. Hopefully that works. Okay, that that should work. Yeah yeah, we can walk past it. Nice. Okay. So, seems all set up. I'm gonna hold on to the. Oh, I heard crying. Oh no, it's just a claw. I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay, hello. Let's just walk around. We need to first collect some evidence. Oh, hi there. Is that normal? That's probably just the power outlet. I think I'm gonna go try and use this new television thing in the basement because they said they heard talking at the laundry machine. Ooh. What the fuck? Excuse me? It's, it's talking to me? It's terrifying. Uh, name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> you can EVP with this thing. Wait, it didn't do anything? Oh, okay, you don't repeat the question, because it's not an EVP, this is a different thing. How many people are here? Is it going to show something on the screen? I have no idea how this works. Hmm, that's a What the fuck?! Did you see that? There was a ghost on the screen. It said three more. Wait, <laughs> wait, that's sick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. That's awesome. A different way of doing EVPs. Also, is this gonna work? Can I record audio, audio with this? I don't know if I can. I like that you can hide the the HUD so you don't have to look at it all the time. Hello there. We should probably. Was that a shadow? I swear I saw something in that doorway. I might be crazy, though. I think I'm going to turn off the lights here so we can see the dots better. Oh, baby, that is cool. <laughs> Let's place this thing uh, a little different. Oh, I, I have no inventory. I'm going to drop this on the floor real quick. And then we're going to pick this up and place it over here. Oh. Excuse me? Why are you beeping? Why are you beeping? Hello? Alarm? Wait. Oh, it's because there's a power outlet nearby. I think that's why. I think it's detecting, like, uh, fake EMF. Wait, wait, so if you place this next to the television, it's just gonna go crazy the whole time? Uh, whoops. No, no, no. I need to turn it on. I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> yes, okay. So, you have to be careful to not place it in an area. That's interesting. So, you're gonna have to place... Because there's a power outlet right there. You're gonna have to place this in a, in a way that it's not gonna pick up... Any oh come on, it's not gonna pick up any fake. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit. Okay, there we go. That's a fine place. I'm gonna close this door so we can see the dots better. Yes, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. What the fuck? I need my I need my audio recorder. Oh, because I can't. Uh... I can't record audio with those other tools. Excuse me. Yeah, this is just the outside. Uh, I need to grab my uh, my EVP thing. And I also probably... No, I don't... Maybe I'll need that photo cam later too. We're going to need this for sure. Because we're going to be able to pick up audio with this. This is really cool. <laughs> it's so many new items. Now, obviously, we haven't seen them do much yet. But that's because... So, this is obviously still Conrad Stevenson. It's like, even though they've added more equipment... Uh, it's still gonna be a slow-paced game, uh, where you're gonna have to take your time to investigate. Although we did already get... I am somewhat suspicious of paranormal activity due to audio interactions I've had with my equipment. I guess we're gonna do it again? We're gonna do something... something more? Like maybe... or maybe we use the other one? Let's use the other... what the fuck? We'll use the Parabox... or Paravox. Let's place this over here. And grab the other tool I have, which is this thing, the Paravox. We'll try this one in the laundry, laundry area. 
Do I have to turn this on manually? Is this just an upgraded version of the... It can't record audio, though. It's kind of weird. Is, Is anyone, anyone here? anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> what the hell, man? Is it going to replay? No. How is this going to respond to me? I'm curious. Is this your home? This is not playing it back. It's much faster that way. Is it oh! That's a suspicious coincidence. <laughs> home? Okay, wait a minute. I see. I see how this works. It's like, this is the normal thing. Wait, uh, let's try the EVP now. Uh, why am I, I here? Why I'm here? That's cool. <laughs> they had like... I wonder which is going to be like the optimal tool if you just want to get it fast. Do you know why I'm here? I wonder if there's going to be more audio now too. Okay, so we're get obviously getting lots of stuff down here. It's definitely working. Uh, any EMF? We should check for... Is, I haven't heard the EMF device go off at all. So there's probably no EMF in this hallway. Maybe I should move it around. Like, is this just going to start going crazy at some point? Let's, uh, drop our... Uh, I need to hold that one. I guess we're just going to drop this on the ground real quick and pick this up. I'm going to use the, the paramic. I'm pretty sure it's going to automatically pick it up if you point it at the right stuff, maybe? The dots are very cool, but I haven't seen them do anything yet. <laughs> they said they saw shadows in the hallway, right? That's why I set up both the camera... It has no, so it'll show you a green light at the top when it takes a photo, so nothing has happened yet. I mean, it is early in the investigation. We should probably collect some temperature data before we do anything else. Let's grab this and try to find some low temps. Because there's no upgrade for the temperature at all. Like, you still have to use the thermometer as much as before. Any cold spots next to the thermo, or the, the laundry? Where you've been talking to me all this time? I mean, assuming. I really like the variety now, because that's going to make it feel a whole lot more like you have agency in your investigation. Because it, there were some problems with Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI where you would, um, sometimes you would just be kind of like, you, you there wasn't anything you could do. You would just be, uh, looks like just a cold spot. Oh, Nothing paranormal. You just have to wait until eventually the ghost would decide to interact with your equipment. But now with a more variety in your tools, you can kind of swap between the tools and it'll feel much less like waiting because you're just, you're like doing multiple things. Oh, investigation. Also, hi there. Hi there. Huge cold spot. It went all the way down to 14 for a second, but it's gone immediately. Excuse me. Yeah, there's dots in Conrad. Can you believe it? I really want to hear this EMF go crazy. Maybe we should place it in the basement. I want to place this thing in the basement. Because, I mean, it hasn't picked, picked up anything here. Let's just try it out. We're gonna place it at the... Right here. Yes. Just in case. If some... Or maybe we should place it on a bottleneck. I think we should place it on the bottleneck right here. I thought there was a ghost standing right there. My heart sank. Yeah, let's place it right there. Just so when we start hearing this thing go crazy, we know that we have to go into the basement. <laughs> that's cool. Because that, that's gonna make it so you can investigate multiple areas at once. So we have the dots here. I think... Oh. Did you hear that moaning? Or am I just going crazy? I might be going crazy. Point the paramic around a bit. So these are all handmade models for this game, by the way. You won't see these in other games. These, these new equipments that they've added. They didn't just download them from the Unity store. Oh, wait. Why did it turn off? Oh, I know. I know, it's it's like uh, when you hear a sound, you have to point it at the sound and then record. I think that's how this thing works. It's like not a permanent. Oh, wait, I heard a sound. Did you hear that? Was that this thing? Hello? I'm pretty sure the, the, the RAM pod just made a little beep. I heard it. It's very faint, but I heard a beep. A little beepy. Hello? That's normal. It's just a light switch. Hello there. We're gonna... I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. That was not me. Excuse me. Someone walking behind me. Kind of creepy, man. 
Dude, imagine you walk away, you come back, all of a sudden you see that light blinking at the top of your camera. So when you take a photo, it's not just going to be like, oh, you took a photo. No, you actually have to pick up the cam and then it'll show. Oh. What? EMF's going crazy? Excuse me? But the EMF was going crazy here too. Wait, it was going crazy here as well as there. Excuse me? What the heck? Was it going through the floor? Wait, that was weird. Because you saw the EMF. It was EMF 5 where I was standing. Okay, interesting. So it can do stuff in multiple locations at once. It seems like it's much more effective down there. It's already spotted two things. Compared to up here where it basically did nothing. I'm going to turn off the light in here. Just keep... Oh, that's the outside light. Whoops. This light. Just to keep it a little dark and spooky. Oh, man, that is... That's definitely going to see something. That thing. Oh! Oh! What is going on? Hello? I didn't see anything. I'm glad I have this cam. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So we just had... Jesus Christmas, I should have my flashlight on. So we just detected some EMF? Oh, wait. Can we pick this up and see the photo? Wait, I'm very curious. Is it going to show us the... What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. There's a ghost in this picture? <laughs> I don't see any ghosts. What are you talking about, Conrad? <laughs> is it the back? Or is it... I'm confused. Do I have to click X? Oh! X? What? I'm so confused. It's like, ne it was probably like right here on top of the cam or something. That's why it didn't show up. And that's why it di disappeared instantly because I touched it. Okay, so, oh, I hear crying. Uh, I think I'm gonna place it over here now. I'm gonna place it, oh boy. Right in here, maybe? Or do we place it like this? In the living room? Where do you think the ghost is going to show up? I mean, they said it was in the hallway, right? But I want to take a picture so that I can actually see the ghost. I'm going to place it like this. I'm going to place it... Pointing at both the hallway as well as the living room. Like... Oh, wait, it's going crazy! You heard that? Something in the basement. <laughs> that is sick. It showed up on the floor in the back bad bedroom. It's a so what, what's kind of oh. What? The fuck! Someone was walking. I heard footsteps. I didn't catch it at all though. Did it just walk past super fast? What happens? So this thing picks stuff up, but it's like gone immediately? Kind of weird. So it's, it's more like, uh, it's not necessarily gonna help you get EMF. It's more like, where do I have to investigate right now? Like if you hear the thing go off, you know that you have to check out, um, check out the basement. That's cool. I'm just loving these new tools, man. So many of them. I want to get back here later and see a photo of the ghost. That's gonna be sick. Good wait on the church map though. You're gonna be able to set up a cam in like uh, the ma a mausoleum or something, and then like leave and investigate the forest, and then you come back later. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me. What the heck? Uh. Did it take a picture? I don't think I'm pointing it at the hallway. No! It's not pointing far enough. We need to have a photo cam on us. <laughs> what the hell? This is the ghost I walked by. Give me this thing. Okay, so now we have our own photo cam in case we need it. Uh, how do I turn on the... There we go. Okay. Damn it, I missed that. That's okay, though. I mean, we already got a photo, right? Yeah, the photographs taken during this investigation display profound evidence. I mean, you're pretty... Pretty easily convinced, Conrad. What can I say? All right, I'm going to pick this up and place it a little better. So we don't have that situation happen again. Okay. We want to place it, like, right here. 
I wish I could pl place it and see what it sees instead of doing it this way. Okay, that is definitely pointed at the hallway. There's no way that's gonna miss the hallway this time. We should really be getting some more temperature data. Let's drop the... Oh, we need audio. Let's drop this thing. For now, for now, we're gonna get that back, but I just want my thermo real quick. My thermo. Because we need to... Uh, oh. We need to collect some temperature data. Oh, ghost. I hope, man, imagine just later with like uh, voice recognition and stuff. I just heard a whisper in my ear. Excuse me. What does the dots do like exactly? It probably just shows you something. Like, it's not an evidence, right? It's more just cool, I'm pretty sure. Wait, this... Excuse me? What the... Door? Did it just close the door? This door? Excuse me. What are you doing? Yeah, the light got turned on. I definitely did not turn on this light, I'm pretty sure. What's that? I didn't get it in time. Oh, oh, oh! Go, go, go! Where are you? Oh, there! Let's go, it actually helped me! Nice! Come on. That's the breaker? What am I- what am I detecting here? Oh. Oh my god! Should not behave this way. This is paranormal. What?! Excuse me?! <laughs> what the hell?! <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> Holy shit, hello there. <laughs> so what's kind of what I'm still recognizing now is, and it's actually kind of gotten worse, is that what can happen with Conrad is that if you're not holding the right to at the right time, you'll miss whatever evidence just happened, and then you have to wait all over again to capture it again. And with so many new items, uh, it's gonna make that, like you can't just like pick up an item when you see the ghost. Oh. What the fuck? And then take a picture. Oh, it's red and stuff. My God! <laughs> I love the EMF pod. Mm, nice. That might be my favorite thing out of the whole bunch, just because it helps you actually detect in multiple areas at once. That's really cool. Okay, okay, we got it. Got another one. I really would like to take a photo myself. Oh, baby. Did you take any pictures? You did not take any pictures. You're useless, you hear? You know what? I'm placing you in the basement. I'm pla I'm picking you up and I'm placing you in the basement. Cause we already, we heard footsteps here earlier. Maybe it's too far. Place like this. That should see so much. Oh, yeah, you can see the screen. There you go. Nice. Okay, that's gonna pick up anything walking up the stairs. Beautiful. Let's use the, the TV box again. There's so much stuff to do now. <laughs> so cool. Okay. There you go. I thought I saw someone stand there. Oh, whoops. I fucked it up. Now. I didn't mean to base. Why are you Why here? Why are you here? TV box? This does not have a VR mode, no. How many people are here <clears throat> other than me? I would love- So what other tools could they add to this game? So I'm- Because I'm not familiar with ghost hunting equipment at all. Like, I know what's in the ghost hunting games that I've played. But I don't know what actually exists out there. Um, at balls. What do you mean? Do you like the current family living here? I don't know if it's gonna speak to us anymore. Can you tell me your name? At balls are fun. What are you guys talking about? A bunch of weirdos. That may have been a response. Daisy? Excuse me, Daisy? Do you know why I'm here?
Wait, it actually worked. How many people are here? But I, I guess these are. What I kind of like about these items is that there's is that they're not necessarily upgrades. They're not. They're more like tangential items that you can decide to use to spice things up. Like you can get evidence in different ways. If you're like for some reason not having luck getting evidence with the EVP, you can swap to this tool and try this tool instead. Because uh, not to be a skeptic as the one that Conrad so uh, uh, so hates, but uh, you kind of need to have like a large variety of tools because most tools are not going to give you any results. But if if you're going to get some results off like one tool, even though you had 20 different tools, you can go like, oh my god, a ghost. <laughs> so that's that's what it's all about, baby. Having so many tools that you'll get at least one to give you some evidence. No photos yet, right? Just making sure. No pictures at all. I want to get a picture. I want to get a pic and actually see it on the cam. Also, I should really be picking up my... Other photo cam, which I placed right over here. Yeah, in case the ghost shows up, we need to take a picture. Give me this. Oh, I can't pick it up because my inventory is full. Ah! Oh! Oh! My God! Excuse me, Jesus Christ! That scared the living shit out of me. I did not expect you to be there. <laughs> oh! It's taking photos. What the fuck? Oh, hi there! What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. Hello? Look at that guy. Wait, I need to see the photos. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's sick. I miss you? Oh no, this is a sad story, isn't it? Wait, okay, here we go. What a rare experience to take a photo. Okay, you can actually see that. So previously we might've seen it as well. You see this right here? That's the ghost. That's hard to see though. <laughs> That's a true ghost photo right there. You see, you can see legs, you can see... Well, that's tough to see. That's very sneaky. You can also use arrows. Oh, whoa, you can... Yeah! Holy shit! You can see a move. <laughs> that's sick. That's really cool. I like that a lot. You can get like a little film of what happened. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Dude, that's really cool. <laughs> that's like true ghost hunting right there. I don't know if you can zoom. I I hope they allow you to zoom later. Okay, what do we want now? I mean, I, that was a really that was a great success. I think I'm gonna place it back in the living room. Cause uh oh no no no. I'm gonna place it over here, pointing at the. Why did you close the door? I did not do that. Um. Pointing at the living room, so we can get some. Oh, it's going crazy. No! <laughs> I really hate that it has collision. That's so annoying. I'm just trying to place it, man. Placing is very slow. There. That should work, right? No, no, no. I, I rotated it too far. God damn it! This is like old Phasmo rotation. Go fucking slow. There we go, please. You better take a pick if something shows up there. Oh, it's going crazy. Hello? I need to use the paramic more. Because the paramic can also pick up audio. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how much stuff do I have? Oh my god. I found some irregular cold spot, which makes me th believe I should focus on this area. Okay, so we need to collect more cold evidence. Maybe it walked up the stairs. Oh, uh oh, oh, no, that's just a vent. Totally no. It's, it's going crazy. Go, 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 go. No. Wait, the door just closed over there. Excuse me. I hit myself in the face with the door and now I can't close the fucking door anymore. What's going on? There we go. Hello? I mean, it's always cold down here. Uh, I'm not getting any. I mean, it was a little while ago that it worked. Oh, we just need... 
think we just need some more audio. We just need a little bit more audio as well as some more temperature. So well, how about you say something on the paramic? I have no idea how this works. Do I have to like, is it gonna give me a special sound on the paramic directly? There, I heard something. Oh, yes. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Well, I didn't, I, I mean, I guess <laughs> I heard something, but okay. So it's kind of like, it's like an upgraded version of the, it's a little weird. Cause wait, they did, it, it didn't actually play it through the paramic. I feel like it's like, cause you can't do EVPs with this. It's just like separating the recording of audio from the, uh, EVP device. You just go off down there. But maybe it has a much more forgiving uh, window at which you can pick it up or something. I'm not entirely sure. Also, I should really... What the fuck was that? Is that on the pair, Mike? That sounded like a crunch. Something broke. Cam, please excuse me you piece of oh i pointed it too much to the f you suck <laughs> fuck you all right i'm placing it further i'm placing it here look how big of a range how did you not capture that there like that Okay, that, that takes the hallway as well as the television and everything. Okay, no more mist. Oh. What? Oh! Yeah, wait, look at that. It reduces the ambience when you grab the paramic so you can focus on the audio. Interesting. So it's more like now, it like if you want to focus. Oh, hi there. Going off? When you want to focus on audio, you put on the paramic. Because you put on headsets as well. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to move this thing. Do I have something on my fifth slot? I don't. Let's move the dots thing. Would like to pick it up, please. I would love to pick it up if you allow me. Here, thank you. It's a little little finicky sometimes and then we're gonna place this so that it also picks up on the photo cam place it like this yeah yeah that looks good boom <laughs> you can see the shadow of the table because i want to see the emf work or the the dots thing work because i think it's just cool like, I don't think it... Maybe it only shows... I'm fucking it up. Maybe it only works when the ghost is physically visible. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just... I cannot believe how bad I am at this game. Please, there. Oh! What? I didn't see anything. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking... Also, why does it only always give red? I'm confused. There we go. I'll place it. I'll just place it like that. Just leave it. Wait, did, what did you get? Oh, oh my god! Ghost. <laughs> well then, I definitely missed that. Do we get multiple photos? No, oh, only one. Can we zoom somehow? I don't think we can zoom. It's just these two buttons that you can interact with and the X to, to end the investigation or to like close the camera vision the only one photo this time look at that that's a beautiful picture oh what the hell this goes crazy ghost going sicko mode i'm, I'm gonna place it over here because i really want to take a photo where do we place this thing to capture a photo of the boy in blue because he showed up in the basement as well i think we're placing it in the basement he was right here Oh, no, no, no. I would like to turn on. 
In the boy's bedroom? He, oh yeah, it did say that he was gonna show up in the boy's bedroom, right? That he scared him? Did we just place it? I think it's gonna be hard though, but let's place it here. So the thing is that I absolutely love this equipment, but they should probably figure out some way. Oh my God. <laughs> they definitely need to remove collision with this thing because I am going to lose my mind. I'm fucking stuck. Let me out. <laughs> Extremely annoying. Here we go. Yep, Cam, I'm stuck. Place and then hopefully that takes a picture. At one point, the boys got to show up in the boys' bedroom, right? I should also really be holding my video cam or my own photo cam because what I was about to say, oh, there you go. What I was about to say is that moving all this equipment around and interacting with so many more equipments does make it so much easier to miss evidence which is like one of the most frustrating things in this game that sometimes there'll be like a ghost in front of you and before you can even like grab your photo cam, it'll already, oh, it'll already be gone. What's the blue light mean? The blue, wait, blue, it, it, sh it told us that, right? Oh, blue is like super high activity. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah. No. Sure. Yes, 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 come on, come on. It was cold temps, I promise you. Should have done more investigating, I'm stupid. Show me a picture. So now I'm basically taking photos in the entire house. So this makes it much easier to investigate multiple ghosts at once. I can be in the basement while I have my photo set up in the in the living room or in the boys' bedroom. So I'm ta I'm getting double chances at taking photos of the ghosts. There's something to my left. I have no idea. I want to go to the to the church too. I think the church might be a perfect map to use this new equipment. Because that map used to have a lot of problems where investigating in large areas was extremely difficult. So adding more equipment, uh, especially this thing and the photo cam is going to be extremely useful. I don't think that I think the dots is a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, maybe I'm just I haven't used it enough. Because there's no evidence connected to the dots, right? It's just more of a... It's... What? Did you take a photo? No. I heard a... I heard a sound. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong about that? What the hell? It just feels a little bit like a gimmick. That... That you might see something. They, they make the ghost show up more. If someone was sitting in that chair, absolutely made my heart stop for a second. Hello? Show yourself. I think I should place the, the cam differently. I don't think this cam. Hey, let's put it in the boys room. Oh, I'm gonna try to take this. Got the, got the cold temps. Where are you at? Where'd you go? Don't hide from me. Fuck, I missed it. <laughs> it also makes you feel like you're missing it so much more. But that is nice. Because at least when that thing goes off and you come here and there's nothing, it adds to the tension instead of you just... Be, like, it feels like I'm much less... Much less of my time is spent just wandering around now. Something nice. These temperature readings. Let's go. Paranormal. Now we just need some audio. Uh, maybe we use the hair mic for that. Anything? Not entirely sure. I need to grab the dots. Fuck! I heard a sound. You saw... Like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. 
Which it's kind of hard how how that could be alleviated. Oh, it closed the door. Wait. How did you not take a picture? It closed the door and everything. Was there no ghost here? It closed the door that I put my cam in. Excuse me. Oh! Look at that! No, 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 take a picture. Take a picture now! It doesn't really matter, but... <laughs> Maybe it does help. Okay, drop this on the ground. Uh, drop this on the ground. Stop. A little finicky, but that also might be because I'm getting used to the controls. That's everywhere. I'm going to place it here. Oh god, don't get myself stuck. No. Why, why is it only green now? Wait, do you have to wait until it's green? Otherwise, it doesn't work? I'm not sure. Because I can place it when it's red. Oh. I can find your camp. Hello? I heard footsteps. I should have I should have done some audio. You capture that. You've been useless, you know? I mean you've not been useless. You actually got like all the photos that we've taken during this investigation. But it would have been real nice if you caught that child photo. Yeah, dingus. Although I also had a chance right here to take a child photo, which I didn't take. Okay. Anyway, I think what we're gonna do now, I I have messed with the equipment a lot, and we have a full investigation here. So I think we're gonna get out. And then we're gonna come back to see if there's any notes because the notes show up after you do some investigation uh, Just to quickly see if there's any new notes that we need to collect and then we're gonna go to the church to um, To uh, try and use the equipment to the to the utmost efficiency but Yeah, let's see. This is actually insane. I didn't realize how little experience you get per per investigation you one of the items you need to buy is 2000 experience that is absolutely crazy i mean i know it's a one-time purchase but i just played for like almost an hour and i got 43 experience i mean that was probably because i was taking my sweet time but <laughs> that's crazy dude <laughs> the, the items are so expensive all right anyway let's uh quickly head back in to see if there's any new notes also is there any new audio we we got let's see Where's my watch? Where's my watch? Where's my watch? That's a sad one. <laughs> Why I'm Gorio? <laughs> That's what he says. Get out. Get out. Obvious. Oh, rip. <laughs> is that laughing or crying? Or both? That is crying. No. What's that? What's that? Who are you? Who are you? You were happy before. Wait, that's new. You were happy before. You were heavier before? What does that mean? A few. A few. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay, so it doesn't record. Wait, so it doesn't record the other audio responses? Like if you get home or the TV responses, those aren't saved on your computer? Interesting. I, I do feel like they should. They should be saved. But anyway, we're going to put in some notes and then we'll head back in uh, real quick. So there's still two notes here that we have to collect. Let me grab... Let me just grab every single... Every single note. And then we'll just go back in. And let's go. Sounds happy. Hey, yeah, he sounds kind of happy. Did we get anything extra? We didn't take the photo! God damn it. Wait, isn't there a Oh, there's the poltergeist that we never investigated in this house, lol. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the Lorentz have a bit of contrast within- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Let's grab the... Let's start off with the most important equipment you need to set up right away with the photo cam. And we'll grab the... Just standard equipment. You, what is kind of a shame is that these equipments, which I guess makes sense lore-wise, but what, what's kind of a shame is that the equipment... Um, the, the new par like paranormal sound equipment doesn't actually allow you to record any audio. So you kind of have to use the old equipment or the paramic to get audio from the ghost. Uh, let's place this one right over here. I'm gonna place it. Look at that. That can see the whole hallway. We'll place that one. We'll walk past it. Nice. And then I'll place this. Good. Okay, so let's check around if there's any notes that we can find that have been added since our last investigation. <clears throat> Anything anywhere. Let's see. In the basement? I actually don't know where any of these notes are. Because there's still two notes that I have to find in this house. And the notes are like by far the most important thing in the game for figuring out the story of the ghosts. I guess nothing down here. How about when you think of the gift of like the bathroom? Air box and paravox are tools that are debunked IRL. Why does that make any difference for a video game? Here. What does that even mean? What does debunked IRL even mean? Isn't that like, isn't every single ghost hunting tool debunked IRL? Like, isn't that the whole point of it? No notes. Give me note. Fuck you. Yeah, you still cannot die. Which, they are, they're going to give you some kind of injury soon, but nothing that's going to be like, oh, you died, you have to leave the investigation now. It's all going to, it's always going to be more innocent. I don't think there's any notes. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to find. I wonder which, I guess we're missing the poltergeist. Oh, we might be missing the poltergeist notes. And because we'd never investigated the poltergeist, we never got those. I think that's what that's what happens. That's what happened. I wonder if they're ever gonna add multiplayer. I think that would work really well with this game. Because of the uh like the sheer amount of tools you have to manage now, which is crazy because we didn't used to have that at all. But now all of a sudden there's so much stuff you have to move around. I think multiplayer would work really well in this game. But the thing, there's going to be problems with, like, sharing pictures and stuff. Like, they need to have some kind of book. They need to have some journal in this game that saves your pictures so that you can share it with your friends and it's not just like, Trust me, I saw the ghost. Open the garage for fun. Do that. Almost hits my car. That looks actually kind of dangerous. You got anything for me? Just a little bit of evidence before I head out. Oh. Open a door over here? They can just open this door. Excuse me. Hello, hello. Any ghosty pants? Yeah, you know what? I, I think I want to spend more time in the in the church. So let's let's quickly bounce to the church. So we, we looked around everywhere and we didn't see a note. And I really want to do like a full investigation in the church. So let's just get that out of here. We'll come back here another time. Because there's still a... Oh, there's still a poltergeist in the... Oh, what was that? <laughs> there's still a poltergeist in the in the garage that we have not investigated at all. So let's... Uh, but, but that's for another time. Let's get let's get out of here and go to the I'm church map. Yeah, tonight. I'm just not feeling it tonight. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on this house. <laughs> They're like, they hired a ghost hunter and he just leaves right away. I mean... They kind of, I, I could tell them there's no ghost. That would probably, they wouldn't really mind that. Although they, they probably won't believe me. The, the dad will believe us. But anyway, let's go. Go to the church. 
Now we're quickly gonna add some notes and then we'll we'll head in there. So what do we want? What do we want for the church? For the church, I'm just curious if it's gonna work here. Um So I definitely wanna try maybe red eyes. Because I can place a camera on the road and then just leave it there. So that if the red eyes ever shows up, I'll be able to take a picture. Because I've never seen the red eyes. That's because they're like walking along the 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 road, which I I just haven't seen yet. So let, let's let's do we do cult in the woods? We've already done the demon quite a lot. Anything more? Angel of the Mausoleum. We'll we'll take a note on you, uh, because that's gonna be useful later. Oh, I don't want anything else? What more? We got red eyes. We got cult in the woods. There really only three. Oh, Angel of the Mausoleum. There's only three notes in this. Oh, no, there's two here. The woman in white and Mr. Siegerstein. Um, I don't think woman in white is the one I wouldn't investigate here because we already did a video on all of that recently. Mr. Siegerstein could be cool, though. I think oh, the lost reverend. Yes, and then the shadows of the... Yes. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. aren't there shadows? Isn't it... Doesn't it say something about that in the email? Shadows. Oh, wait, there's nothing about shadows? Lost Reverend. There's two notes here and three notes here. I think there's five notes in this. Wait, no, there's like freaking one, two, three. There's six. Six notes in this email. All right, anyway, th those are the notes we want. And then we, we already got red eyes, question mark. And then we do archive or church. Woman in white, I'm not interested. What is this? We can't even take this. What? What is that? Taylor and Breaches Maker? The church. Church was dilapidated. Made for what surface? Pierre died abruptly. I'm not interested in the cold this time. I'm just, I'm honestly more, mostly interested in the church. Let's do the Siegerstein family guided tours. Need for what service? I don't even know what this is. What is this? Let's just do these. These are just some decent notes, and then we can investigate both the church as well as the the shadows. Let's go. Uh, church time. So this one definitely. As soon as I click yes here. Get ready for the lag. You're gonna see me in two FPS because uh, this church takes uh, <laughs> takes a lot of effort to load. Apparently, get ready for five FPS me. Ah! <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> uh oh, the lag. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm PowerPoint. not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. We are alive. There you go. Uh, it just it just lags a bit when you start this. Uh, okay, so we have what it would notes. So we have the red eyes, which I want to kind of maybe place a camera on the road near the gr uh, graveyard because I've never seen the red eyes, but maybe by placing a camera, I will get it even when I'm not there. Because uh, that's the only ghost that I've literally never investigated at all in the entire game. Uh, then we have uh, some ghosts in the church. Uh, we have the Siegerstein family house, which we're going to have to do some investigation there. Uh, and then we also have the Angel of the Mausoleum, which we've seen several times, because that's probably the easiest one to investigate. And I also hope to see something in the graveyard here. This is going to be so cool. Wait a minute. Okay, so let's uh, let's grab our tools. We're going to start off by, I think, placing a camera somewhere. And then we're going to grab the, uh, maybe a dots as well. How far away does the dots work? Can I just, like, place at the REM pod as well, please? Um... How far away can I place this thing? Okay, it doesn't work that well here, <laughs> I think. Is it even working at all? Oh, there. Okay. 
Okay, it's, it's probably not going to be as useful. I mean, it, it wasn't really ever useful. I think I'm going to place this thing in the church, because if there's ever going to be uh, a place we'll, we'll actually be and see something... Gotta, oh, wait, what the... Uh, excuse me, it's actually kind of sick. <laughs> oh, wait, that works. All right, we'll do this. That looks awesome. Uh, rotate. Point it. Get over there. Yes, perfect. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Imagine we're gonna see something there. That's gonna be terrifying. Excuse me? I thought I heard something there. I'm gonna place this uh, EMF device down. Here. I shouldn't really be using my flashlight. I don't know why I'm just standing in the dark. We're gonna place that right there. What are you talking about? EMF? It's green. Is this fake? What are you picking up? Oh, it's a fucking power outlet, goddammit. Stop it. No, 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 no. I need to... I forget to turn it on every damn time when I place it. There we go. Okay, it's not, not too close to the power outlet this time. Alright, for now, I think I'm gonna place this here real quick, because I'm... Uh... I'm about to get out of here. Oh, it's going crazy. Place it, place it. Boom. What the heck what was that? Oh, hello. Excuse me? Looks like this is a Are you kidding me? Reading. You've baited me. <laughs> you piece of shit. You can set up an area. Oh. Excuse me, that was definitely something. What? Maybe he wasn't baiting me? What was that? Big EMF spike? I'm just gonna let this... What the fuck? Excuse me. Jesus Christmas. I'm, I'm gonna have to get some more stuff. <laughs> wow, look at that! That's amazing! <laughs> Let's go, dude! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get some stuff, and then we'll check the photos. <laughs> That's incredible. I saw something walk. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's grab, let's grab the rest of the tools. We took a photo. We weren't even there. Let's go. I right, take the television thing, and we'll take the EVP recorder, uh, as well as the thermo, because that's going to be required, basically. Okay. I should have dropped my EMF. Sometimes it just starts playing television. What photos did you take? I need to see it. Oh. Incredible, a photo of an entity. Uh, that's extremely hard to see. Look at that. You can see it right there, I think. Oh no, it's right there. Wait. <laughs> Why does it take more photos? It was there for so long. And it only took two photos? Really? That's kind of- I feel like this is maybe a little bug, then they need to iron that out. Because obviously you can see something here. This is like a photo you- you see like where someone is like, Oh my god, it's a ghost! Even though it doesn't look like anything. Connor, you should have taken a few more photos. This is not good enough. This is just like- It's just a blur. But anyway. Place it again. Oh! What? Place it! No! No! Ah, I hate it here! <laughs> this just... Fuck you! Placing the thing takes too long. Fuck. I missed it. That's okay, though. Not like I care or anything. It's not like it's my job to get ghost photos. Okay. You have that set up again. No more memeing. Uh, and then maybe we'll talk with you a little bit? Are you intelligent? I don't know if you are. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wanna speak with me? I don't think so. Hmm, that's a bit suspicious. Did it just say black magic? What? Excuse me. What was it? What was that? Good. Oh, chill out. The black magic. Can you tell me your name? Black magic. 
Grave Digger. <laughs> I feel like someone might be trying to chat. Excuse me? The Grave Digger? <laughs> Wait, I thought you were the Reverend. This thing is working like a charm. This thing is super effective. Is there anything you'd like to Oh, I already about? asked that. Oops. <laughs> what the heck? No. Is there anyone here who would like Brave to speak? Digger? <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Okay. Is this your home? Yeah, maybe it's out of, maybe it's out of lines. Why are you here? Digging the beast or the beat. Okay, let's uh let's drop this for now. Obviously very successful. Oh Whoa! 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 What the hell? Excuse me. What just happened? Did you take Incredible, a photo of the entity? <laughs> what? There's floating equipment? Oh my god, it's a ghost! <laughs> it's me! I'm the ghost! <laughs> what the fuck? That's so stupid. Yeah, I, I think this thing is... I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's for more forgiving than, like, super harsh about it. But, like, sometimes when the ghost despawns because you were too close, it'll still count the photo. I think. I think that's what's happening. Okay, so you know what? What I really want to know is can you take photos of stuff when you aren't even there? So how about we set this up somewhere else? So do we... Let me grab the other photo cam. Where are we going to place this? Maybe in the graveyard? Dude, you imagine we get a photo from in the graveyard when we're not there. That'd be so sick. Uh, I'm going to take the paramite because we're going to need that maybe. All right, there we go. Something walking around here. That would be so scary. You set it down back here, and then you come back later to just see if anything has walked around. Dude, are there videos like that that are like a uh, 12 hour time lapse of, of a graveyard just or not a time lapse but just like a, a film of a graveyard at night genuinely be terrifying All right there, there's got to be videos like that on YouTube real cam So that covers the graveyard. If there ever is anything that happens here, we're going to see it. Get that out of here. I'm going to need my original tools, though. Like, I'm going to need the EMF. We'll just leave that there for a little bit. We'll come back later and then see if we capture any photos. <laughs> that actually feels like... That feels very cool. Just placing a cam somewhere. And then moving away. I really hope it's still gonna show up, even if I'm not close by. Like, if that's not- if that never was the case, they really should step that up now. Because it's gonna be more important than- than ever. Because you can actually take- take photos, even when you're not in an area. Alright, I'm gonna just leave the dots here, because it doesn't really matter, and I'm gonna take the EMF. Uh, but I don't have inventory for the- You know what? I'm sorry, Paramike, but you're gonna have to stay a little, because we need to get some evidence. Excuse me. No, I didn't mean to place it. I meant to change their fucking digits to something that normal humans can understand. There you go. Oh! Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. Hello! Are you intelligent? Oh, no, he's not. He doesn't interact with me at all. Here we go. Nice. Hmm, I'm following. These readings are unusual. Let's go. Okay, we got we got one temp reading. That was unusual. Okay, this guy is showing up everywhere. Oh, this is probably normal. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Yeah, okay, dude. Okay, Conrad. They better add a ghost in the basement at some point. Is this fucking basement? This 
creepy, but it's closed. Maybe this thing does help. Maybe the dots projector make the ghost show up more. I don't know. Potentially. Isn't there a shadow over there? Sometimes? Like it walks on the... On the balcony? As well? Sometimes? I hear footsteps? I was standing still and I heard, still heard footsteps. I'm gonna drink some water. And it's gonna show up right away. I mostly just want some temperature and EMF now. So we make it more crazy. Okay. Nothing. Nothing over there either. I just use this. Uh, not this. EMF, please. Wait, the thing didn't go crazy at all when the person walked by. Oh. Hi there. Let's go. Come on. These lights nice. I should continue investigating. Please. No. No, it despawned. Okay, but still though, that's one more. So we have one EMF, one temp, some audio, and a photo. Who's that? Did I get it? I did! That's wow, the first that's audio. Idea. I really like this new thing that they show up every time. Every time you collect something, it like shows you like uh, what you collected. That's really nice. That's new. They didn't used to do that. Let's walk around here. Father. That's just a power outlet. I just need you. You are crazy active, but oh, no, that's probably probably normal. Who knows? These EMF readings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal. Okay. Apparently, apparently they're normal. I'll trust Conrad. I think there's a breaker behind, or like a generator behind that, or something. Hello? Anyone out here? house looks so creepy every time i walk in the building the light like the light over there <laughs> pops in and i think it's a motion sensor going off in phasmo but then i remember i'm not in phasmo excuse me these temperature fluctuations appear to be normal are you sure about that Oh, there we go. No! Come on, man. That was my chance. My chance to get something. You guys want to check on the photo cam? I kind of want to see if the photo cam captured anything. Let's let's go check it out. Oh, it's just me. Something is going on. Here. What? These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Um, excuse me. What's that? Out of nowhere? We got a huge cold spot. Up here? I mean, I appreciate it, but I don't know what it was. Oh! The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. What the fuck? That was a full on shadow in my face. Excuse me. Everybody, Christmas. Okay, so we got both EMF, both temperature readings, a bunch of audio evidence, and a photo. Let's see if we got a photo over here, though. We are the slowest. That's sick. I mean, we didn't actually take the photo because I didn't have my photo cam out, but anyway. All right, come on, please. Did you get something? No, you didn't. You suck. <laughs> come on, is there really nothing? There's been nothing of, uh, of interest happening, huh? Are you sure about that? I don't- I'm not sure if I trust you. Right, you know what? I'm gonna leave my- my cam, so I need to remember where I put it. I'm gonna put it next to this grave, on this path, and then we're gonna pick this up. Um, and place it somewhere else. Like, over here at the Siegerstein house. No, you know what? Let's place it at the Red Eyes. Because that's ultimately the ghost we're interested in the most, right? What the hell? This purple looks crazy. 
Which I don't remember where the red eyes are. Whenever I see someone encounter them, they're usually like around the forest. Like they come out of the forest. Uh, like, yeah, over here. They'll like walk out the forest and then they'll just suddenly be like, like a person here. I think I'm going to place it right here. Looking at the road. Like this. Uh, that's too far. And then we'll see if we capture anything. That. We'll see if that works. I think that's 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 exactly where I've seen people encounter the red eyes. Hopefully someone doesn't steal my, my camera. Paid top dollar for that thing. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. Now grab our photo cam again. Maybe we could also place it in the in the mausoleum, right? What I hope is that they that they sneakily increase activity a tiny bit when you cl place a camera somewhere. Like that's I hope I know I know that 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 will be a little cheaty, but like finding evidence when you're not even there is just so cool. They should they should try to capitalize on it. Because if it never works, then no one's ever going to do it. But if it works, like, some of the time, I'm definitely going to try that, like, every time I play. Just place a camera somewhere and then come back later. All, all of a sudden, you ask photos of a ghost. That's crazy. Let's see. Do we, can we take a photo of that shadow? Just right around here? Hello? Anyone out here? Being a dots projector in a church? Not what I... Not what I expect. The rumble. Got a pair mic here, right? Yes. Okay, um... We already got the EMF and everything, so I'm gonna drop the EMF for now. And we're gonna pick this up. Use the pair mic instead. Well, that worked. Wait, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That was Siegerstein? Holy shit, this thing is incredible. Wait, it picked it up all the way from over there? Are you kidding me? Wait, that's wild. Because Siegerstein is over there. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. This thing is very powerful. Wait, that's actually so useful for the church then? Because Siegerstein is in this house right here. Wait, this is actually OP. Wait, that's crazy. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Wait, the paramic is broken? What the hell? Absolutely busted? Wait, that's gonna make help so much to get evidence. Just like from any ghost. And just walk around and just randomly get some audio. That's cool. I really want to see... I don't know if the church ghost... like, Or if the graveyard ghost still exists. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. I thought I saw a green light. Why aren't you getting something? Maybe if I'm around here, it's going to help. I capture anything because we have the red eyes the red eyes question mark i really like how it muffles all the other noises that's very nice not cool if it's real life what do you mean Fuck. how did i get oh, that? that i wasn't even pointing at that area wait is it like is it like a circular range not sure, but that actually is busted. Are you doing anything, my friend? It wasn't him, yeah. It wasn't me. And Seeker's time seems to be really active. Maybe we can take a photo. Hello? It, wasn't him. it definitely wasn't him, guys. It wasn't me. I didn't even get that one. Am I full? 
I've obtained a significant amount of audio evidence of... Wait, uh, audio evidence of paranormal activity. That's actually busted. Like, especially on a big map, like... What's that? I didn't even hear that. You get it? How did I not get that? I clicked it as soon as I heard it. Your piece? Stop saying it wasn't him. We believe you. I mean, I the more you say it, the less I start to believe you. Give me another one. He only got five out of eight. The audio of this ghost. We did get the photo, though. But this time we don't have the... The cult ghost. The demon in the woods. Come on. I... Keep him... I clicked! I clicked. I swing. I didn't get it. I need to press spacebar instead of mouse. The mouse keeps non-functioning. Alright, let's check... Let's check the mausoleum real quick. Look how this is... This is the sprint. It's still so slow. Crazy. The slowest sprint of all time. Hello, Pierre. You here? You having a great time? This is truly like the ghost hunting game for immersion. Like just the amount of lore there is and now there's so many different tools as well to... It's like the most mysterious. Nice. Got him. Because there's so many ways to interact with the ghost That's now. extraordinary audio evidence. Even though some of them are just like little bonuses. It's like, ultimately, the Paravox and the Parabox are mostly just slightly different versions of the EVP. But that's still nice. Just gives you something else to, to try out. But I would say that they're a little bit expensive, given that they don't, like, really supply much in terms of evidence collection. They're mostly just there. For fun. Alright, you are useless. Unless there's just no guy here. Any guys? Yeah, the paramic is actually broken. <laughs> like, you can just stand in an area and get every single audio. I'm moving it further down the road. I've seen people have the ghost show up like right around there. Like it walked on the road underneath the light. I'm pretty sure I got it in the right spot. I do feel like they should like rework some of the the experience or the the cost of the items because the paramic or no the auto cam costs you two thousand experience which the auto cam is probably the most useful by far so you kind of want to save up for that like that, that item is crazy just being able to place safe I don't think I got that I did but I already got wow, it that's great audio evidence okay let's get some evidence from these. I'm gonna put it under the light. Oh. Uh, the hum in the church is so ominous. Who's here? What they should do? You know what they should do? They should give additional bonus experience for finishing a ghost. Like, if you get all the audio and all of, like, all the photos. Uh, and all the, maybe also all the notes, like if they really want to go all in on that. I feel like they should give you like a hundred bonus experience. Oh, there's someone in, coming in. Incredible, a photo of an entity. What the fuck? I only got one of the audio from this ghost. A lost reverend. Nice too. <laughs> the war can expedite our restoration. Interesting. Because I think the so the story of the church is that they build a church, um, and then somewhere after the church was built, the there was like a split in religion. Like some people wanted to practice faith in different ways of the original. 
another one, three. I'll keep that as um, And then they had like a fight and they built another church, I think. So there were two churches. And then every Sunday people would go to one of the two churches and they would judge each other for going to the different church. And there were like fights breaking out all the time. And then this reverend showed up and he kind of mended those uh, those problems and he made everyone whole again. But then the war broke out and the war uh, kind of made the split even worse. And then it all went back to shit again. Uh, but that's interesting that he talks about the war. The war will expedite our restoration. What does that even mean? I don't think it did that. I think it broke it even more. Is there? First, I'll go back there for a sec. Did I get it? Please. Yes! Four out of I'll six! Look at that! Nice. Oh, something over there. I heard, like, shoosh. Get it. Yeah, this thing is actually amazing. Grandpa did not detect me. I mean, I might be a ghost, but I'm guessing I'm not giving EMF. I'm a non-EMF ghost. Gimme. Give Gimme give some. I want to finish off this ghost. I really want to get... That is eerie audio evidence. Oh! Hi there. Dude, look at that guy. Did I get something else? Okay, I didn't know what... <laughs> it just said that out of nowhere. I didn't hear anything. Oh, five out of Ooh, six, dude! Look at that. <laughs> Bear mic is actually so good. Is this? It, this you could use my play session here to see what items you want to buy, because you can't buy all the items. It actually takes a long time to purchase all of them, because as I said, like the photo cam, for example, because two thousand experience. And I only have like 200. It's crazy how expensive these items are. So you need to like pick which ones you want to buy. I would definitely recommend the uh, the cam. I would definitely recommend the EMF. Uh, but maybe not as the first thing. Maybe the paramic is honestly the best item you want to get first. Because it, it's going to make investigation so much faster. Because you're going to be able to get... Um, to get a lot more uh, evidence faster. Which gives you more experience as well. Yeah, I think what they really should have done, they really missed the ball a little bit when they changed the experience system. Because when they changed the experience system, I had, I think, around 15 golden trophies at that time. And instead of turning every golden trophy into the equivalent amount of experience, so if you do a perfect investigation, you get 50 experience. So instead of turning your 15 trophies into, like, 750 experience, it instead turned every golden trophy into one experience. So... That was, like, ridiculous, which meant that everything I, I did until the experience update was completely worthless. They should have definitely done that differently. They, they like, really missed the ball there. I don't know why they did that. That made no sense at all. Um, so, yeah, if, if you played a ton before that update, you got kind of... You kind of just got completely scammed. Because <laughs> I have played this game for 42 hours, and I could not buy a single item because they just took all my experience away. But, uh, luckily, the dev... Uh, was like here take the items I, I i got a little secret save file for you and i was like what the hell all right thank you because <laughs> i i was uh you wanted me to show them off hello any audio let's check the photo cam yeah we all got scammed they definitely should have done that i mean it's it's too late now like they, they they just forgot or something i don't know i don't know why they didn't do that camera Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why? I don't know if this is because... You know how we could test this? But you know what we could test? Uh, I'm gonna place this thing over here. And then I'm gonna pick this up and bring it to the place where the reverend is walking around. And then we're gonna investigate a different place. Because if the reverend... Like, the Reverend is showing up all the time. If we stay away for five minutes, it's definitely going to take a picture. So if by the time we come back, it still didn't take a picture, then we have somewhat shown that it probably doesn't take pictures or it doesn't, like, the ghost doesn't show itself when you're not close by, which would be a real shame. They should definitely change that if that's the case, but I'm not sure if it is. 
Let's just place this right over here. Place it right there. Rotating so slow. Yeah, that's definitely gonna get whatever whatever ghost decides to show its face. And then I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. I'll be right back. Better show yourself. Wouldn't be fitting for this game to be grindy. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's just like I'm an immersive game, right? I I think it's just like they they need some feedback, right? There's two thousand. If you only make five five fifty experience per perfect game, means you have to do forty perfect games to get one item. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. It takes me like thirty minutes to an hour to do a perfect game. That's like 40 hours of grinding to get one item. <laughs> that is actually madness. Uh, wait, where did I put it? I put it somewhere here, right? Uh oh. My paramic. Did someone steal it? Who stole my paramic? Hey! Oh, there it is. Bed eyes are closer to the woods. Oh, there's... Who is that? Oh. I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Wasn't him? That's extraordinary audio evidence. What is going on? Wait, I got two? <laughs> I got two at the same time? Excuse me, I'm going sicko mode? It wasn't him? Honey came in and she got me right-handed. That's extraordinary audio evidence. <laughs> this guy again? Wait, no! That couldn't have been Siegerstein. It was right in front of me. I guess the paramic makes things louder, right? You know, just spamming this is actually OP as hell. Because you can kind of just keep spamming it. There's... Oh, there you go. There's really no downside. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Just spam. Paramic is ludicrously fucking... This is noise. so busted, dude. Dude, paramic broken. For sure. <laughs> Just keep spamming. But the, that's the thing. Like, so there's a few things. I love the items. Obviously, they're extremely cool and a great direction for the game. But they make a few things Ooh, clear that? to me. Is that it's way too easy to miss evidence in this game. Like, if you're not holding the right item at the right time, the ghost could show itself and then immediately disappear and you will miss the photo. Like, that's a bit of a shame. That it's so easy to miss evidence. Oh. Um, extraordinary audio evidence. And then also, obviously, I mean, carrying the items around and placing... Because there's so much management. Like, you have to place the item. They definitely need to change something with the placement of the cam. Because it's really clunky and it takes way too long. Especially in a game where time is so much of the essence. Because if you're not holding the right tool at the right time, you will just miss something. So if you're in the middle of placing your cam and that makes you miss a photo, it's just going to be super, super frustrating. Um, obviously the prices are definitely out of whack, completely out of whack, because they're way too high. So that should be changed for sure. Um, because they're not too impactful, right? They're more like fun equipment. Like, because I can see someone being severely disappointed when they grind for like five hours to get the Paravox, and then it's just like, wait a minute, this is just an upgraded version of the EVP. I feel scammed. Like, it's... Because the items, some of the items are really not that impactful. Like, they, they're just, like, more flavor than they are substance. So, they should try to make them cheaper so you don't waste, like, a lot of time grinding for them. And then you feel, like, scammed. They need to add more ways to get experience. Like, side objectives would be cool. That's for sure. Alright, I think at this point... We can go back and let's check if the camera caught anything. Because if it didn't caught any, catch anything until now, I don't think it's going to take photo or the ghost is not going to show itself when you're not there. Uh, un unattended items would gain value if there were hunts. In what way, though? I don't think this, this game would benefit much from, like, a kill system. Uh, it's immediately here. I'm seeing a ghost right now. I'm staring at him. Excuse me. I'm walk I walked into him just so the photo didn't... So this thing didn't take that photo. Did you take anything? Oh, 
I got achievements. I got the final evidence. Look at that. Nice. Cool okay. That? So glad it didn't take a photo. I'm what the fuck? I'm pretty sure that the ghost doesn't really show itself in an air. Maybe it can, but it doesn't show itself commonly in an area where you're not at. So I think uh, that's also some feedback for the dev. Like, if you're going to have these items that work, I really think this is the way to go with items. Like, this thing... Oh. This thing and the cam is, like, super cool. And having more stuff like that, where you can, like, set up in a large area, um, that really fake makes it feel like a ghost investigation. And especially something like this, where you can, like, review the photos, and you can, like, see, like, a stop-motion animation of the of the ghost moving especially if you weren't there at the time it just adds so much value so what they should do is that the ghost should be either you should have every ghost just be as active as possible even when you're not there or just make the ghost more active in like a large area around the photo cam i think those are definitely important things oh there you go see it would have taken a photo totally fine if the ghost was active. Let's see it. Wow. Nice. That's a photo of a ghost. Oh, one, two, three. So it doesn't take too many. It sounds like it takes way more. I don't know why it only takes a few photos. It should really be taking a whole lot more, in my opinion. Because it definitely made the sound like four or five times, and it only took three, one of which doesn't even have the ghost on it. But yeah, that was... I. Uh, we, we did a full investigation on, on the Reverend, uh, and we are going to get another 50 experience. Oh boy. But I'm going to get the heck out of here. That was really cool. We should go back, a like, really quickly, see if there's any more notes that are going to show up after we've done this. Um, that they should, that's also kind of weird about this game. It's the way the notes show up after the investigation. So you've done a whole investigation, then you have to go back and look for notes instead of it being, like, um, the notes show up during the investigation because it feels kind of gamey that way. But yeah, if you can just take the ghost photo and get some audio with the paramic, you can instantly... You can grind much faster. Like, because getting audio recordings is not that hard, especially if you have the paramic. Getting a photo sometimes can be easy, sometimes can be hard. And then you can get it much faster. But yeah, it can take so long to get experience. Um, anyway, let's, let's quickly go back and uh, see if we can get some notes. Also, we should listen to all the audio of the of the lost reverend. What do you got for us? Christ, suffered more. What? Christ, suffered more. Christ suffered more. I was like, what are you saying? Christ suffered more. Recall those convictions? Recall Joe's conviction. Recall Joe's conviction, Joe? <laughs> Why Joe? <laughs> Recall Joe's conviction. Who is Joe? <laughs> Who is Joe? <laughs> to rob full of all reformation. To rob full of all reformation. To rob full of all reformation. Something reformation? Our town in desolation. Our town in desolation. Our town in death desolation. Our town in desolation. Our town in desolation. What's the robin before this cunt? Did he just say cunt? <laughs> What's the robin before this cunt? <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me? Wait. <laughs> What's the robin before this cunt? <laughs> Wait, I can't unhear it. What does it say? Why did he just say cunt? <laughs> What's the robin before this cunt? <laughs> I can't. I can't take it serious anymore. The, the way he the way he pauses and then. What's the robin before this cunt? 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. The war can expedite our restoration. Yeah, the war can expedite our restoration. That's really the only one that's clear. Holy shit. Uh, crying. <laughs> Laughing, crying. Oh, whoops. I didn't do it. Let, let's, oh my god, did I just work it? Okay, let's get some notes now, and then we'll, we'll head back in. Real quick. Real quick to check if there's anything. Just take all these. I don't care. Holy shit, there's so much information. <laughs> there's so much information on, on all the ghosts in, in the church, man. It's crazy. The Lord? Oh, I thought it said the war. Interesting. Okay, maybe I'm stupid. Get ready for lag again, by the way. I really feel like they should fix this. Because it's, no it's not just for people that are live streaming. It's for everyone. It just freezes. Like, it freezes your entire computer. And you start up this map. It's crazy. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. Lag so There's hard. quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what he'll think what if I find fuck? some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned so enough long about too. what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Let's see, so where are we gonna look? Are we gonna look in the church? I guess. Really see. There's any notes. Give me. The notes. Oh, there there's one! Yeah, look at that. This item is a valuable piece of information. Man's frailty practically exhibited in his life and death. A sermon on the death of that virtuous gentleman, Pastor Jacob... Pastor? Pa Pastor? Pastor ja Jacob Johnson, who died July 17th, 1811, uh, in the 87th year of his age. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not what the time is. <laughs> Okay, so that's a note. Nice. We got some extra. Uh, let's see if there's one more. Because I think there were two more notes that we had to find on the church map. So we if we can find one more. We literally have everything. I doubt it though. Maybe in the maybe in the graveyard. Anything here? That's how they used to write S with an with like like an F. That's how I write an F. With a little thing in the middle okay I don't think there's anything here after yeah, let's check over in the graveyard I doubt we're gonna find more I can really grab some items just in case the ghost shows itself and I can get a free you know what what if we walk around with a paramic OP get free money Easy peasy. Broken as heck. So quiet, though. Yeah, the Johnson was a normal S. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I already got a note in this graveyard at some point. Maybe that was on the old system? They would, they would have to make it so obvious... Because they couldn't just put a note next to one of the graves and then hope people will find it. Unless, unless, I didn't, maybe the notes actually, like, once you've unlocked them, they will always be there until you find them. That could be a way, uh, maybe that's how it works, actually, I'm not sure. Because that would make it a lot less, like, if you don't find them the first time, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything here. I'm pretty sure that was the only note, but still, that was another note, which is always important. It should really give bonus experience for finding notes and finding, like, audio. Everything, like, closer to unlocking all of the audio and the photos of a ghost should give you bonus. Because it's going to make it so much more satisfying. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I think there's nothing. 
was the best backrooms game in my opinion uh i honestly th still think the complex found footage is one of my all-time favorites just because it looks like hyper realistic and it's so scary like it it's the true and the other one the lost tapes one i genuinely loved as well i thought that was really cool i, I found it a little weird they because that was the game that unnecessarily all of a sudden started talking about SCP, which was a little weird, but besides that, it was really cool. And then you got, like, the obvious ones, the inside the back rooms and escape the back rooms. Those are, like, the most popular ones, but I don't think they're the best ones. They're just multiplayer games that people are like, hey, you want to play a back rooms game? And then people play them and they go like, oh my god, I screamed and pooped my pants and shat my... and peed and pissed everywhere. And then they give a good review. But anyway... Uh, I think we only got one note, but I don't think we're gonna find another note. We checked the graveyard, we checked over there, uh, and those are the only ghosts we really investigated. So we're gonna get the heck out of here. I'll that have was... to get back in touch <laughs> with the property owners to That was all of the new equipment in this game. I would love to hear what you think. So we have said that they definitely should make some of the tools. They, like, they should make them less clunky to place. They should make, especially the automatic photo cam uh work even when you're not close by i think that's a really important one because otherwise you just miss out on so many cool moments like that's exactly what i love about this game is that i thought which i guess that wasn't really fully sh like that wasn't really fully true i thought that the ghosts were as active when you were near them as you weren't near them which i think that that that, that game that we just did uh, kind of proved that that was not the case so i hope they're going to implement that in the near future they should definitely lower the prices because look at these damn costs like we got 263 one of these items the emf device for example costs 500 which 500 isn't too bad i think 500 is okay but especially these 900 for the paravox or if parabox and 750 for the paravox these are just like uh oh it does say something with like remote capabilities none none these are just like not very good like they don't really give you that much in terms of like uh usefulness so having to pay so much for them and then getting an item that doesn't really do much like in terms of gameplay is just kind of uh it's gonna make some people feel scammed now this one is obviously incredible but it's also insanely expensive two thousand that is 10 times more than i have and i have played this game for 44 hours so yeah <laughs> be get, get ready to grind to get all these items so i feel like they should probably change some of those uh values but anyway that was conversations is paranormal pi uh so much fun let's really check before we go uh yeah we only have two more notes here that we didn't find yet but we found an additional note which is uh jacob died at a bad time i know uh, i see i see uh but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you had a good time as well uh, if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you join us over at twitch.tv slash click the link in the description down below and if you want to watch more of me on youtube right now you can click this video in the middle of the screen it is handpicked for you by the youtube algorithm thank you so much i'll see you around bye guys have a good one <laughs> bye bye it's paranormal observation time which i'm gonna need you guys to keep your eyes peeled because this is an observation duty like game um exorcism update for phasma or for that's what i always call it uh or i'm on phasmophobia duty <laughs> i am on phasmophobia duty paranormal observation there we go. This is a mix of Asmo plus I'm on observation duty, if you couldn't tell by the title. Uh, you guys can't see the game. Let me fix that real quick. Where's my game? There we go. I have no idea how this works, by the way, so we're just going to explore it together for the first time. There we go. Let's say hi, YouTube. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Paranormal Observation. This is basically if Phasmophobia and I'm on Observation Duty would have a baby. It is a game where you're sitting at a table uh, with a computer with surveillance cameras and it is up to you to look at these different cameras placed in a haunted house to see, uh, to look for evidence, to see if stuff is moving around and things like that, akin to what an Observation Duty game would be like. But then you have to spot that evidence and figure out what ghosts you're dealing with with.
Earth, which is more like Phasmo. Now, on top of that stuff, they have recently done a new update that adds exorcisms to this game. So now you can not only detect the ghosts, but you can also get rid of them, which I've never played with that. So we're going to figure it out as we go today. And I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. Here we go. So, uh, let's see. Do I need to get any upgrade for that? Here we go. Faster exorcism. I mean, I could unlock it. Using faster exorcism, you can perform exorcismus faster again. I guess. I have it. I, I have enough money, so I might as well buy it. Why not? Exorcismus. I don't know what that means. Okay. So, th those are all the upgrades. Uh, we're gonna start off with a fisherman's house on nightmare mode, by the way. <laughs> Just to, just to see if we can still play the game without dying immediately. Fresh Shire, thank you for the gift, or thank you for the gift sub. Crimson, thank you for the eight months, and Red Witch with the freaking 20 gift subs or something. Thank you, you're crazy. Alrighty, here we are. So, uh, let's see. We're launching our equipment. Our door is still closed, so we're sitting at this table. Uh, this door has, like, a ghost detection system on it, which can go offline. We're playing on the highest difficulty in the game, so it'll go offline a lot. If that ever goes offline, we'll have to restart the breaker to fix it. So we're gonna have to, uh, mom like, all the time we'll have to look up from our computer to spot, um, if there is, uh, a malfunction going on. Now we got this. What is this? This is the exorcism thing, I'm guessing. I, I, I think we're probably gonna have to figure out the ghost first. So let's look around, uh, turn on some dots. So we got a dots projector. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> we got a ghost right there. Uh, we got the EMF. We have voice, hello. which you can also talk to the ghost. Hello? Well, hello there. <laughs> that worked. We got voice evidence, easy peasy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna immediately look up and look at the, look at this. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Playing on nightmare mode. I haven't played this game in a little while, so we're definitely gonna die. Get ready to be jump scared. Steffi Pox, thank you for the 20 months. This is like this is like if you were the ultimate truck dweller in Phasmo, but you were actually useful. Uh, oh god, we need to hide. Uh what do we gotta do? I think we just hide. Wait, it can detect my mic while I'm hiding? I'm gonna have to be quiet now or I die? Okay, I don't think that was a full-on hunt. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. I should probably not turn off the power. It might have been a terrible idea. Okay, I'm alive, I guess. <laughs> Someone just knocked on my door. I think that's... If you look at the door when it knocks on the door, you're dead as hell. Uh, come on! Video malfunction. UV light. No feet. No dots. Uh, let's do a little EMF. EMF. Hi, EMF. Breaking? Fine. Oh boy, this game makes me so anxious. Having to look at the door all the time. Yeah, Hello. I don't need the voice anymore because we already got the voice. Oops. Oh, yeah, there you go again. <laughs> voice is so easy. Alright, I'm clearly. I think I'm gonna restart the. Oh, good. Why does it keep knocking? Excuse me? Stop it. Stop it! I think we're all right. So I have no idea how the exorcism is gonna work when we're, um, when we get to that. Also, you can move around the, move around the cameras, by the way, just to look in different areas. Wait, you can see the, you can see the dots in the kitchen from this camera. Okay, everything is still fine. Uh, hi there. There's an achievement. I think we got all the achievements. Oh, wait, they didn't add a new achievement for exercising. Uh, but one... Oh, come on. One of the achievements is to take a photo of that shadow, which is really hard because it only shows up for, like, a split second. But I got very lucky with that last time. Oh, come on. Come on. The camera malfunction. Ah! What? Did I just die? I'm dead? What the heck? Where did that come from? <laughs> it just got the shit out of me. What the heck? All right, well, uh, don't look at the door too much, I guess. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you for the 15 gift subs. All right, we're going back in. I genuinely have no idea what just happened. Maybe what just happened, the ghost was about, like, it was gonna knock on the door, but because I was already looking at the door, it just instantly killed me instead of knocking. I think that might have been what happened, but <laughs> we'll see. Let's get back in. <gasps> I mean, I was expecting to die. We're playing on nightmare mode, right? This is the hard. This is hard. 
Oh, baby. And the dead as hell. You shouldn't... I mean, you have to look at the door, though. So, there's not really, you don't really have a choice. You have to look. That was the shadow ghost. I think there's two ghosts, technically. There's the shadow, and then there's also the... Um, oh, there's a skull. Take a picture of that. And we got throwing. Throwing, nice. Obviously, that happened right on our face. Do we get any high EMF? We don't. A little spike right here. Up to three. Is that going to go up to five? Give it to me. Yep. Yes, nice. Okay, we got EMF five. <laughs> so far, so good. We got a Jinomoro, a Poltergeist, a Shade, a Yokai, or a Yure. So still many, many, many options. Um... But that's those are like really hard evidence so getting well the the emf base the the other thing not so much Ooh. can you hear me wait i think you can also now ask it to throw something throw something do something and you throw something pretty sure oh wait is that voice hello wait let me look at the door real quick Hello? <laughs> Hello. Oh, Jesus. I... I still have no idea about the fucking knocking. Like, if I have to hide or if I just have to sit there or... I think next time I'm going to try just sitting there. Hello. Oh. Oh, come on now. My cameras are breaking. Piece of shit. Hello. Pretty sure that was voice. So then we have a Jin, a Poltergeist, a Shade, or a Spirit. We still got so many options. Are you kidding me? What are we looking for? We're looking for... What? You need up to five different evidence? Are you crazy? Ah! Oh, baby. God life. Thank you for the three months. Or six months. Okay. I'll be back in. Please. Dots is pretty easy. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, so we're just gonna sit here. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna pretend like we didn't hear you. Uh, I think I'm dead as hell. <laughs> I think I'm dead as fuck. Okay, don't ignore him. Noted. <laughs> I think he's gonna wait until I get up and face him. Are you serious? We're softlocked. I can't do anything. Nah. Okay, so you have to. He doesn't like to be ignored. Can I just turn my power back on? Wait, can I just ignore him? Obviously, he's there. Wait a minute. Did I just... Have I found the broken strategy? Can I just ignore him and continue playing? <laughs> Wait a minute, does this work? Wait. I hear footsteps. Wait. I'm just gonna keep going, pretend like he doesn't exist. <laughs> He's just chilling. I'm still good. <laughs> is he still there? Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> He's just chilling. Next time I look at the door, he's gonna kill me, but why? what if I don't look at the door? Is the other guy going to kill me? Are they going to work together? Ah! Yep, sure do. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can't ignore him because the door is open, so the ghost is going to get you. Okay, well, that was uh, that was just some, just for science. We did it for science. What ghost was that? That was a Moroi. So wait, what are we looking? What were we looking for there? Let me let me quickly see. <laughs> Shadow blood. Thank you for the eighteen months. Thank you guys so much. And Blugerstein, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, we need to see um, what the evidence was for that ghost. Because, I don't know, man. What was I supposed to find? Uh, so it was EMF, throwing, and voice. And then what else? Orbs? No orbs. Laser? No laser. UV? It wasn't UV. So it was freezing? No. Hey. Excuse me? Wait, a Moroi isn't voice? Wait, so it wasn't voice. But it gave like a green thing on the... Eh? That was so weird. I guess it just detected me. Okay, so it was... Um... It was UV and freezing? No, and then orbs. 
What the hell? So it was all this evidence. I really feel like in this game, there's so much evidence, it's insane. Like, it's so hard to... to get it. Oh, orbs! Look at that! Take a photo. You got an orb. Nice. Orbies. Easy peasy. Look for some laser. Laser used to... Be, I, I, I had a lot of success finding laser evidence before. There a head in the... Where's the head? Where the head at? Not there. Not underneath there. There's so many orbs. Not it's not in the there. Hello. There I heard something. It's definitely voice. <laughs> okay then, nice. What's that? Wait. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what the fuck was that? Was that a shadow? That was not that was laser! Nice! Okay, that was laser. Hey, Miriam, what's up? Okay, nice. What are we looking for? Devorovoy, Raichu, and Shade? Okay. So you guys, by the way, if you can... It just it, th it just threw that. It just threw that. And it just... Is that the EMF5 noise? Is that the EMF5 noise? I think I got a Shade. I'm gonna exercise. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. This is insane. Excuse me. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> okay. I, I just looked at the door and every it was a shade. Okay. Wait, so you can now hear the EMF even when you're not looking at the EMF? That's a huge change. Before, you always had to look at the EMF screen to get the EMF. But now if you have the EMF upgrade, this thing, the EMF sound, you can hear it even when you're not looking at it. That's such a good change. Let's go. All right, we're going back. <laughs> we need to be able to beat this damn game, dude. Okay, so we get super aggressive maybe when you start the exorcism. We're gonna have to look at the door. Uh, the green mic means that you are talking with the ghost and the red mic's mic means that you are not. Okay. So I guess it did, it shows you if it detected something. Like if I say, throw something. Can you hear me? Can you speak? So that detected something. I see. Where are you? Oh, EMA 5. Nice. Voice. Let's fucking go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Guru. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you guys so much for all the gift subs. What the heck? Nice. We got a face. Check at the door. No door this time. Hello. Hello works, by the way. Oh, hi there. He was sitting on the... <laughs> oh, EMF again. I really like that change. That's gonna make this... That's gonna be such an important change. Did you guys saw freezing? Thank you. Uh, I, I'm never looking at the at the freezing, so I trust you guys. Yeah, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Okay, so we got freezing as well. So we have a gin, a phantom, or a spirit. Nice. What are we looking for then? We're looking for... Oh, no, 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 no. Hide, 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 hide. Okay. You happy? Hello? Yeah, happy. You good? Oh no. I'm gonna hide just in case. You can ask like, hello and where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're fine. I think we're all good. Oh, please don't break. I need to see orbs. Orbs were so obvious last time and I haven't seen them at all. I think I can rule out orbs. And you finally rule out stuff. Why didn't they implement that yet? So it's not a phantom. Okay. No phantom. Noted. Uh, are we looking for throwing? Yeah. We're probably throwing. So it's laser or UV. Okay. So laser... Oh no. Stop it! E. Barlow, thank you for the seven months. Good. You happy? You happy? Don't kill me. Oh, we're good. This is so crazy. The system keeps going offline, man. What's the crucifix for? It's when you want to start the inv or the exorcism. You better be fine. I think it might be UV. 
to UV. Put UV on every can. Oh, no, no, hunt, 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 turn off the electricity and hide. And then I have to be quiet now. Jesus Christmas. Jesus Christmas. Oh, you can see outside now. Wait, they added that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I do like that they put that there so you can see the ghost walk in and out during the hunt. That's creepy. Okay. We all good? We all good. Okay. Put all the UV on. You already malfunctioning? Are you kidding me right now? Maybe it is laser. That's something on the ground? That is something on the ground. Alright, take a picture of that. Oh, it is throwing, indeed. So we have a gin or a spirit. I really wish I could see the fucking fingerprints or whatever. Fingerprints or laser. I'm the laser showed up so quick last time. Oh, yeah, EMF5 again. Wait, it just opened the door. Hello. It's not doing laser. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot. Maybe there's fingerprints on the door, but it closed the door, so I can't see. It's so hard. I kind of am inclined to say it's UV and it's a spirit. Because the laser usually shows up pretty quick. I think we're going to go with this. Although I might be wrong. Can we do one more pass through? Just the UV is by far the hardest evidence to get. My experience. Didn't I just do that a literal second ago? I think so. I think I'm going to say UV and I'm going to start this. Do I have to... What do I do? What do I do with this? Oh my god. I don't know. Ah! What? 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 Do you have to hide? What do you do? <laughs> I don't understand. Hey, I gotta correct it everything. Okay, wait. But the... Huh? So the door was... It was definitely active. I'm so confused why I died. I guess I have to hide why I do that. I don't understand. Okay, let's try that again. I'm 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 learning. I'm learning. I have no idea how to do the fucking exorcism. Also, I left leveled up twice, I think, during that, even though I only died so far. So you get actually quite a lot of experience while dying. Okay, come on. We can do this. I think we hide. Yeah, we're just figuring it out as we go. No, it, I didn't have the wrong ghost because it said on the screen after I finished the game, it said that I had the right ghost. It said you thought it was a spirit and it was a spirit. So we definitely were correct. Um, hello? Hello? Is that already thrown? I feel like that's thrown. It looks different. Hello? Hello? Wrong room? Maybe I do need to do it in a room with the, with the dead body or something? Hello. Oh, fuck on. Son of a bitch. You're gonna be freezing. Move around a little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Come on. This is tough. I think I'm gonna restart. And by the coffee table, I already got it. That's why it, it's marked off now. Come on. Oh boy. Hello. Hello? Where are you? Did it open that door? It did open that door. Hello? Where are you? 
Where are you? It's detected my voice. Can you throw something? Throw something. It's it can detect that, so you can tell it to throw something. Throw something. Do something. Throw something. And this is a tough one. What the fuck? It's definitely gonna be freezing. Oh, there's freezing. I saw it. I'm looking at it. All right, we got freezing. Nice. Hello. Fine, fine, fine. And then look at the door. Oh, and hide just in case there was a hunt while I was while I was broken. That's projector. Yeah, it, I mean it's hard to use the dots. Again, just in case. Look at me. Okay. Hello. Voice usually shows up very quick, and we haven't had voice yet, so I'm inclined to believe it's not voice. Oh, there's a guy. Hello? Oh, hunt, 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 hunt. Turn off electricity. And hi. You know what? Since this is so at the start, I kind of want to test what happens if I talk while he's in here. Hello, you piece of shit! <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> you're right. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Definitely don't talk while you're hiding. Noted. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> what did I expect? Zim, thank you for the 17 months. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Fuck. Well, let's see. What was your right? Was that was that correct that it wasn't uh that it wasn't voices voice it was indeed not voice was it also not orbs it was also not orbs so those two you can pretty easily figure out uh, it was definitely throwing and freezing yeah and it was probably was it laser it was laser okay was it EMF it was also EMF okay. Making sure. Oh my god, it's already malfunctioning. I literally... <laughs> literally haven't done anything. Alright, we good. We live. Hello. Nice voice is so easy, man. Oh, there's a head in the... And the thing. Where are you? Can you speak? There's something. Look around for temperature. Look at the door. Oh, that's so bullshit! That's so fucked up. It just knocked as I was moving over there. You suck. <laughs> Man, this is fucked. This is so hard. We might have to go down to professional. Let's try it one game on professional. Just because I feel like we're getting our ass whooped on <laughs> on Nightmare a little too hard. Yeah, it, it it's just unfortunate timing. Cause cause it, it it killed me. That's I think that's what happened last time I died as well. Like by the shadow, because it it wanted to knock as I was looking at the door. But the thing is you have to look at the door. Like there should be a cooldown. Uh like, the noise should always play, even if you're already looking at the door. And it should have, like, a cooldown after it knocks. Like, 100%. That is just... Because there's literally nothing you can do. Like, nothing. Because you have to look at the door in order to prevent, like, to see if it broke. Uh, so you have to look at the door. There's no choice. Like, that, I have to see that. I guess I don't have to look at the door because I could just reset the power all the time. I guess, but <laughs> that that feels like it's it's not the post. Yeah, like that's a little too much. Um, oh, there's throwing again. So I already got three evidence. So by the way, EMF voice and throwing. Let's go. Another throw. Freezing. And UV is so fucking hard. Hi there. 
Uh, it opened this door. No UV though. Okay. Do we have to look now? Just gotta look real quick. Gotta go real fast. I'm not seeing orbs. Uh, that's just dots right there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Okay, that's nice. We got a laser. It's a generous shade. Okay. Two ghosts left. I'm literally just gonna restart. I'm not even gonna look at the door. This looks like a monkey that took its own picture. You mean the shadow? What are we looking for right now? We're looking for freezing or orbs. Okay, so freezing or orbs. The lights on everywhere. Oh, wait, was that orbs? Freezing or orbs? Not seeing orbs, I'm not seeing freezing. This, these ones are easy. Just gotta... Oh, it's cold here. Okay, I'm gonna go sicko mode and just restart the breaker every time. Because I don't want to look at the door and get killed now that we are so close. Come on. I know orbs. I think it's gotta be the ghost that has freezing. Orbs usually show up extremely fast. Oh, hi there. So the the freezing, by the way, it'll show up on uh, it'll show up on my mouse. So I am pointing it around the room to detect the temperature. So that's why I'm moving my mouse so fast. Let's see if it's freezing. Hey, why no freezing? Did I get something wrong? All right. That was insanely lucky. I would have died if I looked uh, like two seconds later. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck uh, you. It's so cold, but not quite freezing. But I also definitely don't see orbs. I'm... Inclined to say it's freezing. Why? Oh, no, 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 it's orbs! Let's go! Okay, okay, reset the breaker. Okay, orbs, 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 orbs. Okay. Now we have to figure out how the fuck to do the exorcism. Do we have to be quiet? Do we... I, I don't genuinely have no clue. It, it doesn't tell you anything. Okay, so we have orbs, so it's a shade. Then what the fuck do we do? So we act, do we gonna do it in the room that has the skull in it? So this room, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna hide. I have to turn up the breaker. Oh, I, oh, oh, I just got scared and that's why I died because I made the noise. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, we were so close though. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Dang it. <laughs> literal, literal kill because I, I made a gasp. <laughs> hey, that's fair though. That, that's what happens if you don't have push to talk. Okay, there's the, there, we're gonna try it in this room. Here we go. Boys. I like that it's hard though. That you actually have to work for it. I just wish there was like a little information. But I had like any clue on what the fuck I was doing. Because I have none. Hello. Oh, Orbeez. Nice. But last time took us a lot of time. So I'm glad to see it quick this time. Um, I'm so happy EMF has, has been made so much easier. Hello. Oh, come on. Hello. Nice voice. There. I'm still having so much trouble doing laser and UV evidence. Avep, thank you for the 10 months. It's really tough. Come on. Give me something. Very cold again. 
Yeah, I guess we could just keep the UV on in that one. I mean, so far the laser was extremely obvious when it did happen. Like it... Oh, come on. Stop malfunctioning. Piece of garbage. Oh, we got more orbs. We could just treat it like a hunt. We could just, like... I don't know. I feel like it would be weird that you could exor- Oh, hello there. Like, if we turn off the power during the exorcism, that would make no sense. Like, how- I guess we're gonna- We could try that, like, treat it like a full-on hunt. Because maybe the ghosts will start attacking you when you do the exorcism because it's like, I need to get you out of here. Because you're about to kill me. Maybe. I don't know. We'll try. It's kind of interesting in a weird way, not knowing. Like, not having a tutorial. I mean, definitely should have some kind of information. But it's always fun to figure out mechanics. More Orbeez? Orbeez? Alas, man, I know you really know this game, but could you please allow me to uh, experience the game by myself? Restart it. Wait, what? Are we dying? No, we're fine. Green tile is on purpose? It definitely is. Nothing. Maybe it's UV. UV is so impossible for me personally. And professional mode is significantly easier. <laughs> what the fuck? Is there freezing? I didn't see it. You guys need- you guys- freezing is your task. I am not looking at the freezing. So, you- you better- you better be keeping your eyes on that number over there. You already got voices, right? Yeah, we did. There's no throwing? You just- I'm still not used to how the randomization works. Oh god. I'm gonna hide just in case. I th do you die? Wait. You have to turn on the the off the breaker, right? Otherwise you die. So hiding doesn't make any sense. You've seen it twice. You freezing? Oh, there's so many damn orbs with nothing else. Can you hear me? Throw something. Throw something. It's detecting that. Oh, hello. Oh, it is. It threw this. It threw that. Okay, throwing. Nice. No EMF at all, right? Last time we got so much EMF. Fuck me, man. We looking for freezing? Technically, are. I feel like it's just UV again. I feel like it's just UV evidence. That still leaves you with so many ghosts. The UV is like. Borderline impossible, in my opinion. Did I just hear a mouse? Did you hear that beep? Beep. Little mouse noises. Because there's definitely no laser. And I think it's always either laser... I mean, maybe there's laser. Who knows? What the fuck? to look so fast just in case you heard that squeak too UV because the UV is only there for so short that it's extremely hard oh boy I don't think there's freezing oh, oh god okay turn off this is nice this is good we need to be quiet though What? Was that it? What the- Was that a fake hunt? Is that a different hunt? Is that a fucking duck? What was that? What? 
It just did like a ho 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 Merry Christmas? What the fuck? Is that the EMF by the way? No, it's not the EMF. I'm so confused. Oh, it threw something here. Give me EMF. Give me EMF! You piece. Okay, threw it off the shelf. This is so tough. Uh, hello there. What the fuck is that? What? There's full on ghost events now? Excuse me? Well, I've never seen that. What? Is that an evidence? What was that? That was awesome. Orby. What the hell? So I'm thinking it's not EMF. Can it even be laser? It could be laser. And then is it EMF? I'm freezing. Okay, I'm th I'm saying it's a Devorovoy. You know what? I'm fucking going sicko mode. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna hide. Did I do it? Is he dead? Did I kill him? What did I do? What? No more ghost? Is he dead? Did I exercise him? I think I did it! There's no more button. I think I did it? I'm gonna go home? Did I? Did I kill him? What the fuck? I wish you could look at the cam while you do that. Wait, excuse me? I'm so... I did it! Wait, did I exercise him? Wait. Uh, I'm not seeing any, any money. Wait, is it just... Do you just do it for fun? Is there not... Wait. Did I, or did I have to do something else? I'm confused. Or did I... Because it was a Devorovoy. I clicked the exorcism. And then it started counting. And then I couldn't do it anymore, right? After I got back up from under the desk, I couldn't do another exorcism. That It doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> I did level up from... Wait a minute. I leveled up from 28 to 31. I definitely got an insane amount of experience. I'm pretty sure that did give me experience. It just doesn't show it anywhere that you did it. It doesn't, like, have an extra task. There should be, like, a third task that's, like... Because the update literally came out, I think, today. So maybe they just forgot to add the third task. Because I definitely got more experience this time. But anyway, let's go to the uh, mental hospital now. Sure, let's check that out. I think professional is the way to go. I think nightmare is just a little too much to when you also want to do the exorcism. I don't know. I definitely got something, though. I got experience, but I, I don't know if I got money. I'm just confused. I'm a little confuzzled. I'm being paid an exposure. <laughs> I wish you could look at the look at the screen while it's happening. Maybe you can eventually. Okay, anyway, here we are. Turn on the laser. So I, I got it right. If you have a really hard time. Oh nice. <laughs> the head in the toilet. But the EMF is fairly easy to figure out. Like if you don't get oh and the voice as well. They're they show up all the time. But the laser I didn't actually see at all Un unless that uh, weird ghost event was actually the dots I'm not entirely sure that was just confusing to me now we're just gonna turn laser on and everyone every single am 
Oh, it's freezing. I, I looked. I'm sorry. I stole your job. <laughs> I'm solid, Max. Thank you for the prime. Okay. This looks like where I work. I hope it's not. Stole your job. Is this a- oh god. Fine. Yeah, we had 772 total. That was a lot of money. Are we all fine? Is this on the ground? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be on the ground. Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Where are you? Oh, that's on the ground. That's throwing for sure. I'm gonna just reset the fix the cam. How does this work? It's like ghost. It's ghost hunting. Hu hunting. I'm on observation duty. You're looking for. Instead of looking, I mean, you're looking. Uh, for stuff being thrown around as well. But instead of like object movement, object disappearance and stuff, you're looking for dots, for fingerprints, etc. It's like as if you're a truck dweller in Phasmo. And you, the only thing you can do to figure out the ghost is use the cameras your teammates play, place down. That's the game. That's the idea. Oh, EMF. Hello? Phasmo truck simulator. Exactly. Uh, nice. We got UV. That is so rare and hard to get. Okay, what are we looking for? No laser. Orbs or EMF? Okay. Orbs or EMF? We can do this. So all the lights on. Orbs or EMF? Uh, because we already got freezing. Oh, hi there. Stop malfunctioning, you son of a bitch. Yeah, your whole team died after placing all the cameras. What I could do oh God. is get up eventually because I really want to be able to look at the camera because there's definitely some kind of animation that I want to see. Like, I don't want to miss that. Oh, God. Hopefully that works. Keep reading that po- <laughs> It does say- It does look like it says ghost hype. Ghost hype, dude. Orbeez! I saw it! Okay, so we know what it is. So it's an obake. So we do this. Here we go. We go to the to the room that has the skull. Here. We go exercise. Then we turn off the power. We hide for a little bit. Okay, did we do it or is it still going? Still going? I want to see it. Show me. It's 25%. It's still going though, but there's no animation anymore. Oh. It, it's still just... Wait. I'm not sure. Are we just sitting here? It's, it's counting up. I can't cast it though. I'm clicking on it, it doesn't do anything. Can I still be hunted now? <clears throat> I'm confused. Oh my god, what a throw. Holy shit, legendary. <laughs> uh, it's slow. I thought I bought an upgrade called Faster Exorcism. So much for that. Oh, hi there. Jesus Christ, you saw that dude? He was chilling. I see him for like one frame. Am I just okay? Is it just gonna count up to 100% and then I win the game? I'm a little confused. Oh, hi. I don't know if the other ghost can even attack me anymore. 
I gotta keep an eye on this. I mean, it's a 60%. We're doing, it's maybe recharging? I'm not sure. But we definitely didn't wait this long underneath. Did I get it wrong? Maybe I got the wrong ghost. Wait, no, I didn't, right? I got everything. Throwing, freezing, voice, orbs, and UV. We got it all, so it has to be the right ghost. Unless I did it in the wrong room for whatever reason. Quack. I'm a little confused about what's going on. If I'm, if I'm to be honest. Hello. Hello? Wrong room? I didn't, but how do we know the ghost room? So, is it still doing stuff? Yeah, it, it's this. Okay, there's definitely still a ghost. Just making sure you're not leaving me alone. Oh. Maybe don't turn off the power. I'm not sure. Very good. Don't break. Yeah, we can try again now. What the fuck? Okay. So I do this. Starts an exorcism. But then I have to hide because it does a hunt. What am I doing? Not EMF, right? Did I fill it in wrong? What? I must have something wrong. Well, we've seen all of this. Is it, what? We've seen UV, 100%. We've seen orbs, 100%. We've gotten voice. We've seen throwing. We've seen freezing. I don't understand this game. I'm very confused. And you did it last time, there was something in the circle, now it's empty? I just don't understand, really. Okay, so, let me see. Let's get out of here to just see if Obake is right. Maybe it's bugged? Let's see. It was an Obake, then what- And we definitely got much less- We got much less money as well this time. Because the task gave le I'm so confused. We got much less experience and- and stuff. I'm very confused why that didn't work. <laughs> Let's go country house now. The other house. Um... So, you can't really look at the thing. Maybe you have to do it a few times, but last time we didn't have to do it a few times. When we played on the fisherman's house, I did it instantly. It's just really confusing. I don't understand. Very weird. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Is that a bone? Oh, well, easy peasy. I'm guessing that's a bone. It is. Oh, I did not mean to click that. I mean, I literally clicked that. I just... My brain didn't work. Hello? 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 Oh, that's a nice... <laughs> These are some good rooms for orbs. Or for laser. Davis. These are some bright ass rooms, man. I want laser. That was freezing? I'm trusting ya. Alright, freezing. Thank you guys. I wasn't paying attention at all. Give me laser. For UV. I was just gonna look at the at the door. 
The fact that the door, like, looking at the door when it knocks kills you is extremely annoying. They definitely should fix that. I saw an orb. I did not see an orb. I, I think you might have looked at the clock, because the clock kind of looks like an orb. Oh. So is that dots, or is that just a job scare? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, EMF. Nice. I'm not sure. Oh, hi there. Hi there, friend. Because it made a special noise and everything. I think that was just a jump. Jump scare. Oh, nice! Let's go! We just have phantom or spirit. We're looking for orbs or throwing. It's a spirit. Okay. So we have a spirit. So what do we do now? That was the easiest game of my life. Do we... Just in this random room. Oh, God. <laughs> you suck. Do we do it in the cam that he showed up in? Like, maybe we do it on the kitchen cam because that's where he showed up one time. There was freezing. There's also freezing on this cam right now. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna have to hide though. What the fuck is that? What's going on? Hide! What? I did it? Did I? So there was a scarecrow. Excuse me? Did I? What? Do you just have to try it multiple? Is it just like trial and error? No, no, like trial. Like you have to do it multiple times for it to work. I don't understand. Because I'm pretty sure I did it the first time. Obviously something showed up in the in the thing like something happened when I did an exorcism It was freezing in the room and it was the room where the guy showed up I'm just extremely confused I think we don't do we not No, but we have to shut off the power because it triggers a hunt, right? Like it triggers a hunt. So if you don't turn off the power you die Oh my god. Maybe you have to do it in multiple rooms? Try the bone room? Wasn't that also the bone room? Yeah, I really don't understand right now. It's extremely weird. Yeah, this was also- This was the room where the ghost showed up, there was freezing temperatures, and the bone was here. Like, everything related to a specific room, it must have been this room. So that is not- It hasn't to do with- like, the room doesn't matter. Even though it should, because there's... You can choose which room to do it in, so you... F I feel like it should matter. But... I don't know. It's, it's red now. It's so stupid. Don't look at the damn door, because you're gonna die. All rooms... Maybe we just try different rooms until it works. I'm just so confused what we did the first time, because the first time it was different. There was no timer. Is Do I just have to hide longer? Like, am I... Maybe I should do that. Maybe I need to hide longer or something. Even though that doesn't really make sense. Oh, hi there. Jesus Christ. No! I tried to take a picture! Okay, I'm gonna do... No, I took all the photos. I just wanted to try if I could take a photo of them. <laughs> We're getting it back. The music took longer last time. That is definitely true. We try a different room, right? We just try a living room now or something? Do we not turn off the power? Do we have to look at this longer? It doesn't work. It didn't work. I don't turn off the power, maybe. I 
I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. What? Excuse me. It was different that time, though. It, there wasn't any ghosts in the in the. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? But you? But I lived, even though I didn't turn off the power. Oh no! Oh, that's so stupid. That's the second time. I already, I was already panning over to the door and it knocked and then I die. It's so stupid. They really should fix that. There's like no counterplay. Like what are you supposed to do? Just never look at the door? That's not an option. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go back to the fisherman's house. Maybe the fisherman's house is the only house that currently works with exorcisms or it's just a system that we don't know how it works at all whatsoever. Like there seems to be no rhyme or reason to the exorcism. Maybe use it when there's an event. The events are extremely rare. Like maybe I have to catch it with the exorcism. Like I could see that make somewhat sense. Oh. Hello. 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 Where are you? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello? Where are you? Hello? Where are you? It's definitely Ooh. not voices. All of the voices ghosts are off the table. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, you have to catch it. I mean, how though? Maybe when it does one of those ghost events, but like... Then I must have not... But th 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 then I don't understand what the fuck happened the first time we did the exorcism. Because we clicked... I clicked the button. And there was no... And then I hid under the thing. Oh, we got orbs. I hid under the thing for a while. We got orbs and throwing. And I came back up and there was no timer. There was no percentage timer on the exorcism. There's no way it was already re- No, and it wasn't recharged because I couldn't click it. I couldn't click it. Even though we had a ghost selected. So I'm, I'm super confused. Like, extremely confused. Hello. Hello. EL, thank you for the prime. All right, we need to do laser. Uh, open the door. Nice throw, baby. Big throw, boy. There's a dude. Oh, I threw something right there. Orby! Wee! Orbies! First time you- Yeah, there was a huge scream. That is true. Like, it was special in some way. Yeah, I did gain three levels. I'm just... Just, Hello. just a little lost. I'm going back and forth so fast because I don't want to... Hello. Alright, so which ghosts have voices? So it's not a Devoravur, Obake, Polter, or Raichu, or Shade. So it could be Moroi? Wait, it could be Moroi or Yokai? It's only one of those two? Wait, am I correct about that? The word for Abake, Poltergeist, Raichu, Shade. The word for Mor Obake, Poltergeist, Raichu, Shade. Yeah, so it's a Yokai or a... Or a... Or a Moroi. Which probably doesn't even help us that much, but whatever. Dude, this guy's everywhere. Oh, there's not, there's not laser, nice. Okay. Uh, I think it's a divorce. I think it's a Moroi. 100% Moroi. I'm going with, oh no, because it could be a yokai as well. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. What's going on? Is it, is UV an option? UV will be, oh my god, I hate it here. 
EMF would be more or less, or would be both. It was freezing. Okay, and then it's a yokai. There we go. Okay, so what do we do now? Let's quickly reset the power. What do we do? Do we just wait? Do we wait until the shadow shows up and then we grab him? Or do we wait until we see another, like a ghost event from the guy? I don't understand. Just turn on all the light. Because the ghost event doesn't... Like, it shows up. We've only seen it twice and we've been playing for over an hour. So... Having to wait for that will be insane. So I could do it there when I see that. I guess. I'm just so confused. Yeah, maybe we just do it... See if... I'm just gonna do it if I see him again. Oh, oh, here we go. I can't believe it. That is such insane bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time the shadows killed me, it's just unavoidable garbage. Like, Jesus Christ, that's so frustrating. There was nothing I could have done. Obviously, you have to get back up to close the door, but while I was looking at the door and closing it, the guy showed up to knock on the door. Yeah, Dev, if you're watching, the shadow guy needs some tweaks, because this is actually like insanely unfair like there's no counterplay because you have to close the door you have to look at the door and every time i do like it's such an easy fix too because all they have to do is no matter what if you're looking at the door whatever the knock always happens and then there's like a short cooldown after the knock where if you look at the door it kills you there it can be like okay you're looking at the like Basically, before the knock happens, it does a check already if you're looking at the door and then it'll already kill you. It shouldn't be in that order. First, knock. Then, do a little cooldown and check if the player is looking at the door. This is not reasonable. This is unfair. There's, like, so m literally so many times I've died that were just, like, unavoidable. Nothing I could have done. That's extremely frustrating. Okay, anyway, we, we got already two evidences. That's good voice. Hello. Hello, where are you? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello. Hello? Hello? Where are you? Hello? So yeah, there, I just hide for a little bit, which I still don't know why or what or what the fuck but okay. now i can look oh my god any freezing you piece of garbage i guess for now you kind of don't want to look at the door at all you just want to like every now and then reset the breaker maybe but it's so annoying Oh, oh boy, hello there, my friend. No voice, oh. right? Oh, EM uh, EMF5. I don't think it's voice, because it's oh. not done any. And then oh. do we already know it? Oh, come on. Oh, underneath. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Get me. No voice. So if it's voice, what would it be? It would be Poltergeist or Shade. So it's a Moro Yokai again. So many orbs. 
Oh, there's laser. Nice. So it's a more yokai, obviously. The light on. Uh, that was a door opening. Okay. Come on. It's not freezing. Okay, I mean, probably not. What are we looking for? We're looking for UV or freezing. UV or freezing. This feels so much more aggressive than before. I guess we turn on all the UV lights. This is probably UV. I don't know. Yeah, reset breaker. I just, I mean, we kind of have to work with the stuff that we've been given right now. Like, we kind of... Oh, nice! Okay, UV. So here, UV. It's a moroi. So what the fuck do we do? Do we just... Do a... This last time I just kind of did it anyway. Like, I didn't really... Oh, there's a head in the thing. I'm just gonna do it here. Do it. And then... What? And now I'm gonna die to the fucking shadow, bitch. Didn't. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. It did, it did the sound of the alarm. It, it, what the hell is happening? What are you supposed to do? <laughs> I genuinely don't understand. Like, I think it might be that... When the ghost does like that walk around event, you have to capture it. Because it looks like a ball that captures... Oh, that captures something. I think that's it. Until the guy shows up, you have to wait. Which just means that they make the game so much longer. Which means there's so much more opportunity for the bullshit that exists right now to kill you without you being able to do anything. Like... If that's what it is, it's definitely stupid. May maybe it's bugged. I just don't understand. I mean, um, where? Oh God! Rolling. Go, go, go. I'm just gonna reset, not look at the door. Wife well, saved myself by f avoiding the garbage. <laughs> I would have died. I would have been fucking dead if I looked instead of just resetting. You piece of shit. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. I just don't understand how the first time we got it. Like, that's the main thing that makes me so confused. I guess we just fucking flick through the cabs until he shows up on one of them. Like, not him, but the ghost. I don't... 
What is happening? And then we capture him. Like, obviously, there's orbs right here. We could do this. It's luck. Don't. I don't know. The, also, the cooldown. I have an upgrade for the cooldown. And the cooldown is still so fucking long. It's crazy. It's a little wild. Because I think he might just do a hunt only if you get it wrong. Because it is... Like, a little suspicious that those ghost events where the ghost shows up have been added at the same update that the exorcism got added. That makes me think they're related. Oh, EMF. I think. Get him. Get the photo. Where is everyone? Bit person in the guillotine is creepy, yes. I'm just gonna keep resetting now instead of looking at the door because I don't want to have this. All right, oh, uh, I think let's try. If I hide without the breaker, I have to look now. I have to look. So if you kill me now, there's literally nothing I can do. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, it turns off the light. It's fine. You don't have to turn it off. That's nice. Okay. I am genuinely so confused. Because what, what, the, what the fuck was with the scarecrow? <laughs> like, what is happening? I'm so confused. What the hell was that then? If it wasn't capturing the ghost, did it just capture a scarecrow for no reason? So lots of activity here, but there's a go- just do it again. Oh my god! What is this?! What did I do? Why was that okay? What did I? Uh, why? Why did it work? I don't understand. Okay, it worked. Is it because there was lots of activity in the room at the time I did it? Did I leveled up two levels again? I really wish it would show you that you did it here. Okay, so the scream is a good way to tell. Uh, I see. Let's go to the country house now. Now maybe it is because there was orbs. There was EMF, and there was a shadow guy, all at the same time. Maybe that's the ticket. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do this. Let's try that again. And I didn't even hide. But I definitely didn't wait for his, uh, like, special event. So it's not required to do that, which is very nice. Okay, it's laser time. This room, this house is so good for laser. Look at that. Already a video malfunction, you son of a bitch. Alright, I'm just gonna- we're gonna try and avoid the Shadow Man as much as possible. Yeah, what do you do with ghosts that have no orbs? Oh, but that was cool though. Uh... Look oh, minus eight noise. Hello. Hello. Voice is so fucking easy, dude. <laughs> it's so, oh wait, no, no. Oh, but I, I would never have turned off the breaker if I didn't look there. Yeah, they wouldn't make an animation if you're supposed to hide. That is very true. Oh, Orbeez, nice. Okay. Obake Phantom Raichu. That's good. That's a very good. So 
But do I, I guess I'm just gonna reset again. Like I'm never gonna look at the door anymore. The door sucks. Door can get out of here. No more door. It's gonna suck because we have to wait quite a bit, but also I don't see the bone anywhere. No bone? No boners? Oh there, Yama. Nice. Phantom? Okay, easiest game of my life. Now what? Uh look for orbs. Look for orbs. Just reset the breaker. I don't care. How do you have to check the door? Because you have to check if the system is broken. Do we take a photo of the exorcism too? Okay. Orbies, 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 Orbies. Freezing here. No orbs though. It's probably not good enough. Maybe the ghost at all times is in one of the rooms. Like, oh, Jesus. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe the ghost is always in a room and you have to basically figure out which room is the most active. Something like that. I don't know where the bone is. I don't see it. No bone here. Dude, no freezing. No bone. Bone there, bone underneath in the... Yeah, bone in the... In the fireplace. Drive at the freezing. I mean, we have orbs this time. We just need to have like multiple evidences at the same time. Not just one. Come on. Give me something. All these scams were set up so weird. Wait, are they being moved while I'm not looking at them? Fuck you, I'm gonna reset again. I know I'm doing it a lot, but I don't want to look at the fucking door. Even though we haven't heard a knock yet. Raising no orbs. No oh, ghost. All oh, the fake ghost. The shadowy boy. Shadow boy. Hello, boy. Where is my orb? There is no ghost. You suck. Oh, orbs. Okay, just do it. It works every time. Orbs are the answer. Orbs are OP. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I guess you need to... F but what if it's not orbs? What if you don't have orbs? What do you do then? <laughs> Phantom, let's go. Alrighty, easy peasy. Oh, I should have taken a photo. I'm stupid. Next time we'll get we'll get a photo. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Man around, thank you for the two months. <laughs> Hey, let's go. We leveled up two levels again. Hey, we're killing it, though. Look at that. I, I like the leveling in, in any game. Just even if it's meaningless, just getting number go higher makes my brain go brr. Uh, all right, let's do... Let's do the country house again. I really only... We only did, like, two games here. At least we're getting it somewhat. Let's start to buy nothing more. You already got everything. Nano Ram, thank you for the sub. Okay. So let's hope we don't have an orb ghost this time. So we can figure out. We can learn something else. Hello? Hello. Hello? Okay, it's actually the easiest thing of my life. Completely free. Give me a laser. Freezing. Give me freezing. Oh. Ah, what the fuck? Did I fill in orbs? Oops. No? 
Wait, it was freezing? Yes, let's go. Because the freezing room definitely did not work before. Oh my god, you suck. We tried that in the past. Uh, there's a duck. Oh, we got this. Implement cruise. Yeah, I just don't know. I, I, it's the weirdest thing. Like, we are actually exercising the ghost, but we have no idea why. I mean, it must have something to do with the activity. But it's a little weird that we just... I don't know. Feels so random. Give me some. Give me tr throwing. Uh, hi there. What? That was a big boy? Was that also dots at the same time? I'm gonna look real quick. I'm so scared when I look, man. Orbeez! Let's go! Well, that's actually kind of annoying, because that means we're just gonna do the same thing again. I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe it... I mean, maybe one time it'll fail, and then we'll be like, what the fuck? And we'll be so confused. I'm gonna reset. Hey, Amtrak, what's up? We'll get it. Easy peasy ghost. Just need to fig- I mean, we still need to- Yeah, what? Laser? You- No UV. Oh, no. Both- Wait, yes, UV. It's laser- EMF laser would give us an immediate evidence. Oh my god, you keep breaking my cams, you son of a bitch. Maybe I have to talk as well. Or, like, not talk when I start the exorcism. Like, I have to be quiet. What was with the cro cro scarecrow? I don't understand. This is so weird. Oh, come on. I'm gonna be playing the Ghost Exorcism Incorporated update. Probably with Psycho next week. If we have time. Sucks because I have to do this again. Um, because they've added like a a thing where you can have two ghosts at the same time, which sounds really cool. So many orbs everywhere, man. What if there's two orbs in two locations? What do we do then? What do I do? Oh, big throw! Nice throwing. And it is either EM- no, no EMF. It's laser or UV, which sucks, because that means both- we have to look for both. I think it's UV. Because laser would have shown up already. So- oh god. Uh, I'm just gonna reset. I feel so annoying. Um... Kinda just wanna do it. Just assume it's UV. And then do it exorcism in the orb room. Let's do it. Assume UV. This UV is much harder than laser. Show me orbs. Show me orbs. Oh god, look. Ooh, scares me every time. I was just thinking about the 20 months. Hello. Didn't mean to say that. Can you give me some orbs, please? What the hell was that? Wait. What is this? Is it a ghost? What is that? Oh, it's just throwing. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, reset. What the fuck? How do you know to hide? It'll do like a bam bam sound. There's something on the ground. Give me UV. Give me UV. Why no thingy? What the fuck, man? Give it to me. It's definitely thingy. If this is laser, I feel scammed. 
Dude, are you how many times are you gonna make me reset this? Oh as we're hiding. Okie dokie, now I have to fucking close the door, so Shadow Man, you better not, you... Okay. Alright. Uh, please give me orbs. It's so crazy we haven't seen either of them. I mean, I guess it's just UV being, like, the impossible thing that it is. Oh, big throw? Big throw? Do we just do it there now? Do we do it in- I think I'm too late. Oh my god, you piece of garbage! Stop it. We don't need to turn off the lights anymore? Apparently not! Oh my god. What if it's that room, though? Now I have to reset. I'll talk to the dev because the dev is actually extremely like this is probably just some of these mechanics are probably just accidents that that, that weren't play tested because the dev is like last time we played this the dev was like oh my god there's already another malfunction like uh, he reads all the YouTube comments and oh here we go did I get it I didn't get him I'm gonna get killed. Must have been the wrong ghost then. There's no way I selected the right ghost. 100% has to be the wrong ghost. But yeah, last time I, um, or the last two times we played, or every time we played, the devil's like, please give me as many suggestions as possible because he's really. What the fuck is that? Excuse me? Everything okay? I've never heard the clock like that. Ding. It can't be. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I'm just running out. Ah. Uh -uh. This thing is fucked. <laughs> This stupid device that keeps breaking. You piece of garbage. So where the fuck are your dots then, huh? Unless I messed up in some other way. I don't believe it's dots. Like, I just don't believe it. We've played this game for over an hour and every time dots was like pretty easy to find. Fingerprints was like almost impossible every time. But I guess we're going. There's no way the ghost. That wasn't the right room. The ghost was literally in the room. Like physically manifested in the room. So it's either bullshit, which I don't. That's definitely an option. Or it was the wrong ghost. So it has to be laser. It is laser! Are you fucking kidding me? That took me friggin' 20 minutes to get one laser. I've been staring at it the whole time. Okay, at least we got it. That's crazy. Alright, just, just now we... Where's the orbs? We haven't seen orbs in a long time. Oh, it's freezing there? Ah, oh, we need to wait anyway. We need to wait. That's so fucked. Oh my god, the video malfunction every damn time. Pick the, yeah, pick the high EMF room, maybe. 
I mean, I want at least one other evidence there as well. Okay, we're almost... We can almost do it again. I almost... I'm trying... Oh! Wait, it was just... It was just... It's a fucking random scarecrow? We got so baited? Wait, excuse me, that's just a random ghost event? <laughs> oh god. That's so funny. <laughs> But it was perfectly placed in the orb and everything. Oh god, don't kill me. Oh, oh I'm so scared every time. That was such bullshit. <laughs> he got us good with that one. What a coincidence. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Alright, show me some evidence. Maybe EMF. No oh, EMF anywhere. It was just chilling. Okay, it's freezing here too. Let's go. Better be right. I'm gonna become the Joker. Yeah! Give me a kiss. Mwah. Hey, let's go. So it was just the guy showing up in the freezing temperature being here was enough for me to, to call it in. There you go. That was just the first time we got it wrong because that would have definitely been the right room, but we got the wrong go selected, obviously. So this is what's nice about this, what I really like about the exorcism. The, obviously, it's extremely confusing how it works. But what's really good about it is that if you have an extremely annoying ghost that doesn't show you evidence, you can just guess between one of the ghosts, like one of the two, three ghosts that you have uh, left. You could just guess which one you think is the most likely and then do an exorcism. And if it doesn't work, you can then try another ghost. You can kind of like you don't have to do nothing for so long until you get the right evidence you you have something you can do now which yeah, like just trying an exorcism but yeah uh even with faster exorcism which is crazy even with faster exorcism it takes like five minutes after you use it to get get it back so i don't know that that takes forever but that was paranormal observation again if you have any suggestions for this game please leave them in the comments down below because the dev loves to hear them obviously the knocking always happening and not instantly killing you is an easy easy dunk that's obviously gonna happen uh the there should be some kind of tutorial at least for the exorcism because i was just grasping at straws i had no idea what i was doing that was extremely confusing um but yeah that, that was let me know if there's anything i missed and that you also would like to see because i think this game is moving in a cool direction it's just a neat little game like it's not gonna replace phasmo uh, or like be the next uh like not gonna replace observation duty it's just its own thing it's its own thing and i kind of like it for what it is uh and i hope you did as well if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant or click the link in the description down below and if you want to watch more of me on youtube right now you can click this video in the middle of the screen right here this hand picked for you by the youtube algorithm thanks so much i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs>